Chris doesn't. No, no. I was gonna. I was gonna the best way to start a right this here. Is right. <laughs> like Chris. Chris doesn't want to have to edit his streams. He wants to edit them as little as possible. So um, he doesn't want the explicit tag. So if you cannot curse, oh, he will. Oh, that's. Uh, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. Welcome right. to the Uncut. Um, um, well, yeah. Now, after and also, time. I want to ask you, Chris, because yeah. they haven't been on your podcast before. Right. I've been on your podcast and interviewed you on multiple occasions. <laughs> that's beautiful. Do you, or, or do you plan on adding the uh, name drop bell to this one? Do you want me to? You do have to I can I can go for high score. <laughs> if you the go for high score, I think I will. What's that? So level. at Metatopia, I don't last think it needs year, much. At Metatopia yeah, 2017, it. it was just like, just like yo, you can see so and so, so and so, so and so. And I was like, yeah, name drop, name drop. And he was like, I'm gonna add a bellow after every one of these. Bing. Can we <laughs> can we have a running scoreboard? Like, see who can name drop the most. I, I didn't have, it's got to be relevant. <laughs> oh, oh, basically, I'm just going to talk about how I spent the night at Richard Wallace all the time. <laughs> it's not we didn't start the fire like unpub edition. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That one time I was spending the night at Richard Wallace's house. Yeah, I was talking to Zeb. Party. I was talking to Zeb the other day. Yeah, Zeb and I were Skype. drinking a beer. Yeah. Eric Lang and I were sharing a bowl of cereal. I'd say the best. In the hot tub. Now, were you? Is you hair the everywhere. On him? What's that? Are you the one who ate all the marshmallows on him? <laughs> no, no, he ate the marshmallows. I had the charms. Okay. Yeah. So I'd say the best way to kick this off is yeah, everybody sort of run down who you are for everybody who's watching on stream. If we have anybody, or they'll see it on the VOD. Oh, so, is this live right now? Yeah, well, yeah. we're good. Yeah. 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 All this is happening. Holy shit. All this is happening. Pub. And Ben leaves. No, seriously. After, is this after, really? Yes, it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Pub after dark, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Daryl, just, just keep talking. Keep <laughs> saying stupid yeah, shit. Go ahead. Go do, we, ahead. do we want to run to the other room and get, like, an oh, audience? <laughs> do we? Next year. Next year. Next year, we can do that. Yeah, yeah, next yeah. year, yeah, we can. Yeah. We, need, we, need a, we need a Friday night thing. I, I, oh, I like, yeah. I like yeah. podcasts that mm-hmm. honestly do audiences at shows, because it's just like, yeah. that it, makes it an extra special it, podcast, yeah. in my opinion. It adds energy. So, it adds if we can live stream 45 minutes with the mayor, I'll do it again next year. Sure. Yeah, all I do is yeah. bring up the audience, and we ate Oreos. They oh. pick the flavors. We get yeah. to, We should talk about partnering with somebody to do that. Nabisco. <laughs> that's, somebody, yeah. that's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. <laughs> that's the first thing. <laughs> I was thinking Purina, <laughs> but oh, Nabisco talk, works. Let, let me talk to my uncle. My uncle knows Maximilian Oreo of the Connecticut <laughs> Oreo. Oreo. Uh, okay. Okay. Little fun and, anecdote. Little yeah. little fun thing. Yeah. For three years, we honestly were trying to get Old Spice or like Degree or somebody to sponsor specifically Old so Spice we could because they're funny, like, little they make funny. like like yeah. little things. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it wasn't like as an insult, but it's like there's that stereotype. There of, is. Yeah. You go to conventions, it's a gamers thing. So we're like, how cool <laughs> would it be if we were the convention that was like. We're providing everyone anti-gamer steak. Oh, oh like, my god! Um, double exposure. Does, yeah. They they have they purposely put in all of the restrooms for the convention. They put toiletry baskets so that whatever you might need, it's there, so that you don't have that stigma. Mm-hmm. Well, they want they want uh, that to well, be there. So they they put toiletry baskets, and they are regardless of the gender of the bathroom, the entire basket is omnigendered. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but that's that's what they do, and we could easily do that too. We, I'm sorry, I, it's in my opinion, of, all deodorant is technically yeah. omnigenerous. No, but, right, right, for, right, but, right. but other other uh, other products that you might need for hygiene as well. Okay. Well, okay. They yeah, just, yeah, but yeah, they make yeah. they, you know it's it all it takes is a run to Wegmans when we get here that day. Yeah. So. Yeah. Now we're also doing your podcast. Do you want to we sort are. of tell the audience over at Happy Fun Time Live who you are and what's going on? <laughs> actually, <laughs> why don't you actually what? do a quick? You're probably Happy Fun Time Live. No, I just can't believe it's live right now. It's been live. So no heads up. I was, Chris Anderson, I went like across workshop. by the computer and I was like, are we ready? <laughs> I was like, like, are we ready? <laughs> How long has it been live? <laughs> Maybe five so or six So we are minutes, live. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We're live. We're definitely All right. live. Let him, shh, let him talk. Yeah. Yeah. Talk on the board game workshop. Hey, Chris, why don't you explain? <laughs> <laughs> at, what, at, what, at what point are we, are we dropping, like, no, no, no bad words? Uh, for I'll me, edit it. Was it like 10 minutes ago? For me, it doesn't matter. Do your best. Do your worst. Whatever. Do somewhere in between. Go for high score. So just don't just whatever. Yeah. I, so I, I'm from the Board Game Workshop podcast.
It'd be a good one. <laughs> 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 yeah. Woo! Uh, so, Sorry. we're running a game design contest. So if you're not a judge on this panel, you should probably become a judge. Uh-huh. Looking yep. at two people that are judges. Yep. I don't have the expertise for it. You're judging, right? I am judging, yes. You're judging. Probably. Yeah. But, not, not, but I might actually fill out the forms this year. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, he's always judging. Yeah. <laughs> are, are we judging right now? No. no. Uh, no, it's, it's over. Future. Like the submissions are coming in now. They this is just a very empty table. I was expecting, like, okay, here it is. Let's go. Yeah, well, nice. that's because yeah. you didn't bring us drinks. That'll be at Metatopia. Boom. Though. I, I didn't Metatopia. get the drink. I was offered the drink. But you could have offered you us one too. I, it was not my uh, drink. You need to impose on that. You could offer the drink. Chris, introduce your podcast. I just did. Who are you? I am Chris. Okay. I am Chris. I am Chris. I'm Chris, I'm the host of this podcast. How can I find Come you? Come on. Ah, go to theboardgameworkshop.com. Yeah. Go, go to Twitter. What do you want? And yeah. I am at the BG Workshop. Yeah. Yeah. Or he really looks like he's about to punch Luke somebody right now. BGS. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm on your side. I'm trying to help <laughs> you bring this, bring this in. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's everything, right? Yeah, that's, that's everything. Yeah, that's, 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 that's you. That's good. That's, that's, I mean, I do all that at the beginning anyway. Though. Right. But right. they don't know that. Right. right. That's right. They it. don't, and I wanted them to know who I you I put were. it in the chat, just Wait, in case the they didn't get all that. Yeah. Are you you're throwing graphics. it out there? Got it. Got it. <sighs> Thanks, Dave. fancy graphics you're, Dave, you're, you're the best. Now, Thanks. Will, who are you, and how can people find you on the internet? Uh, they know. No, but they... <laughs> but for the podcast. <laughs> oh, the podcast. Oh, my God. We're doing two oh, wow. shows at the wow. same time. Wow. It's chaos. So oh, my God. Oh, God. Happy Fun Time Live. Happy Fun Time BGS on Twitter. Uh, I host a show on Geekspiel every Monday night uh, called Table Crashes, where we interview designers, uh, and I'm the games director of Smudgy Games. Oh, you're Smudgy Games. Mm-hmm. Are you in CM Perry's um, Discord? Mm-hmm. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> I just made a love connection. Yep. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly on, in like, I, I, I lost track of how many Discords I'm in right now. I know. There's multiple people with Smudgy Games, though, right? Yeah, there are. Okay. Yeah, uh, Tyson, Gamesmith, uh, Brennan Ron or Brennan from Pangea Games is, is with it. So. What, what's his last name? Uh, now, do those comments valid things? I, I think it's wrong. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. But I'm getting. You get like a half. Thing don't put me on the spot. This is it's my job. Put you on the spot. <laughs> what's, the, what's the ranking? I don't know. I don't know. Um. Since you know, we started in the middle, we're going this way. We'll loop around. I guess. Yeah. Well, sure. Right. Yeah, I'm Ben well. Beagle. Uh, I am the mayor of Unpub, and uh, you can find me on Twitter as some fat kid. It's an awesome Twitter handle. It's S U M Fat Kid. The picture's great too. And um, that's when I was a bridesmaid in my friend's wedding. Yep. And uh, you can email, or you can call me at one eight hundred Ben. Can. Can. It, it works. It's really weird. Because one eight hundred technically are eleven digit numbers, but somehow one eight hundred Ben <laughs> just stops. You don't need those four digits. <laughs> We're just like we know who you mean. <laughs> it gets you there. <laughs> I am Dave Holden. I am a friend of Will's. I'm with Happy Fun Time Live. I am a filthy casual when it comes to all this good stuff, so <laughs> I probably have the least to offer to this podcast and <laughs> live stream, but you know what? I'm here, and I'll make some witty anecdotes from time to time, so there you go. Oh, so you're a flavor Flav? Sure, yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't have a clock, but I got a lanyard, so that's close. <laughs> close, enough. close enough. To you, sir. I feel like you should go to you just to screw no, up this one even <laughs> further. I'm nope. um, uh, not helping you. Wh- which camera is... Uh, hey, 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 hey. Only camera. Hey, yeah. I'm yeah. the guy that wanted to be like all nice and professional, and then they told me ten minutes later that it was live. Surprise! Hi. Um, I'm Daryl Lauder. I'm the director of Unpub. I am a game designer, and I am also the marketing manager for Panda Game Manufacturing. And how can I get in a hold of you? You can't. Is it one eight hundred Daryl? This. You I'm have to come to Unpub and hunt him down. That's true. I'm squirrely. You can uh, find me on Twitter at Get Louder. Um, I'm also at or Get Louder on BGG. Um, get Louder on everything except for the Nintendo Switch. I'm Game Louder. Get it? Oh, uh, here we go. <laughs> oh, you throwing it to me now? Okay. That was the hi. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh hi. Brad. Visually, it works. <laughs> Audioly, it doesn't. Hi, I'm Brad Smoley. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Brad Smoley. I am the co-director of Unpub. Assistant to the director. Assistant <laughs> to the regional director of Unpub. <laughs> uh, that's all that's important right now. You don't need to know anything else about me. Right. Right, of course. Correct. How many siblings do you have? <laughs> uh, I have a younger brother and sister. 
Yeah. My uh, brother just recently got engaged right. to well, his longtime girlfriend. What are the last four digits? Let's just make this about him. <laughs> I'm going to call him. <laughs> put him on speaker. That way we'll have something for the table. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, put Ashley on the phone. <laughs> what, are, what are your table treatments going to be like? <laughs> what are the colors? What are the colors? Mob and mother of pearl. I'm on a podcast. <laughs> We've run out of things to talk about. That's right. That's right. And we're only seven minutes. Yeah. 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 I'm trying right. really hard not to curse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling really bad for him right now because he had an easy not to do, and I, this is just out there. So <laughs> it's it's a different world. It is a different. It world. is a different. World. It is a different world. This isn't what I find uh, out for. <laughs> so part part of I think part of the reason we want to sit down with you guys, I know personally I, I did, was. Uh, Really, to thank you guys for all you guys do for the community, and really how inviting you've been for for me personally as as a content creator uh, at the convention. So thank you guys for that very much. You're welcome. Um, Are we done? I think you're probably in the same boat, right? That's probably why you approach these guys. Uh, it is now. That's yeah. a, that's a great, <laughs> that's a great <laughs> You're also <laughs> thankful, <laughs> aren't you, Chris? <laughs> I was more looking it's for an informational <laughs> stand because I'm interested in maybe starting some similar type of event. Okay. Correct. We're done talking to you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Competition. Yeah. Not a competitive event. <laughs> that's, more, that's more the second part. Of the, uh, I, really, uh, we, we talked to designers to sort of help the design community, and you guys have a lot of insight into running conventions, so maybe there's people out there trying to do oh, yeah. something yeah. similar. So maybe uh, what I want to touch on with you guys is some of the challenges that you guys might, might run into or mm -hmm. might have run into and some of the victories that you shared uh, throughout this process, uh, what are the highs and lows of what, of what this has been for you guys in your lives? Okay. So, Daryl's first game came out of Unpub. That's very His true. His first published That's game true. came out of my Unpub. First, my first game design was also my first published game. Yep. And it's also still my best-selling game. Um, Which is typical. Yeah, right. Is right. For Daryl? Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, for me. It's typical for me. <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, a little, little backstory on Unpub. Um, Unpub was started by a, a gentleman named John Moeller uh, in Dover, Delaware, and it was because he went to kind of a game design jam at the Congress of Gamers, and okay. it was a competition of some sort. I, the details of this are very vague. I mean, keep in mind, this is over 10 years ago when all this started off. Of course, yeah. Um, and... But it was a room of just game designers with their games, and they were all playing each other's games and giving each other feedback. And he's like, this is brilliant. Right. This needs to be a thing. And so he was like, I'm going to start one in Dover, Delaware. <laughs> and I was like, we don't have an airport in Delaware. <laughs> and he was like, people will come. <laughs> I was like, where are we doing this? And uh, I was more or less his right hand. So I designed the logo from the very beginning. I designed okay. the first website, the marketing. I was a marketing director for another company at the time. So I was like, yeah, I'll you know, volunteer my services. Right. Uh, I was a gamer, but not a game designer in any means mm -hmm. at that point. Uh, but I was just trying to help him out. And uh, he was like, we're going to do this in Dover? And I said, okay. He goes, nope, never mind. We're going to do this in Woodside. It's cheaper. <laughs> Woodside <laughs> is one of those towns that most people would call a hick town. Okay, you right, blink right. and you've missed it. Yeah, yeah. Um, the houses are kind of like, step on the gas and get by there as quickly as possible. <laughs> um, and um, yeah, so he said, we're going to do it in Woodside. We're going to do it in my church meeting hall. And I was okay. like, Whoa, yeah. sure, why not? It's first convention. You know, that's... It's a place. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we had six designers. Okay. And I think we had a total attendance of about 12 to 18 people. Okay. Um, so it wasn't bad. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, to, to start off, like, so Compounded was my first game and I had it there. And it was because I'm such a great friend. I was like, no one's going to show up to this. I need to make him a game so at least someone is there. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right. 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 Um, right. But, you know, other. Designer showed up, and that's where I met TC Petty, who designed uh, Viva Java. Right. Bing. And, uh, <laughs> um, and so uh, TC and I became, TC less than my wife, uh, we, the three of us became really good friends at mm -hmm. that show. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, so I had compounded. Uh, so then uh, Unpub 2, I was like, we got to grow. The church meeting hall isn't going to be a good enough spot. Right. Um, it, it, it had some nice perks. It was nice and small and intimate. And John made hot dogs for everybody, um, <laughs> and uh, DiGiorno pizzas. And that, that's so everyone that came had food. It yeah. was awesome. Like well, those, he had to buy like two whole packs of hot dogs. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Basically, right. basically. Right, right, right. I think he still overbought. I think he gave <laughs> some, like, far more people. Um, so the next show, he's like, "Well, we need a bigger location." And I said, "Yes, I agree." And so my grandfather 
and my uncle were both uh, cops. So mm-hmm. I was like, I can get the FOP Lodge. He's okay. like, oh, that's awesome. The FOP Lodge can hold like 150 people. Mm-hmm. Um, the downside of the FOP Lodge is it is out in the middle of literally nowhere. <laughs> like, it's a 30-minute drive through the woods to find this place. <laughs> and it's just by itself. And if it wasn't, like, the fraternal order of police, you would be like, we are not stopping at this place. <laughs> Keep going. You don't want to go to the convention at the murder house? <laughs> right. No, that's basically what it was. That's basically what it was. Um, but I think we had, we had about 50 to 60 people show up. Uh, and that's where we started having publisher presence for the okay. first time. Mm-hmm. So... Uh, uh, David McKenzie, who uh, was uh, Clever Mojo Games and Daily Magic, he was there. Dink. Uh, Chris Kirkman with Dice Haven Games. Um, and I so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like doing them myself now. <laughs> Swish. Uh, so uh, we started having publisher presence kick in. A lot of the designers, uh, well, not, there were six. So four of the designers that were at the first Unpub were at the second. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we, we had more tables. I think we had. Uh, 16 designers at right. Unpub 2. Um, so it was definitely expanding. Um, and th- there were games that were awesome that we've seen signed since then. So Compounded was signed at Unpub 2, which was very, like, very awesome. Um, and so that's that's when that happened. So Unpub 3 comes along. We don't want to do the FOP Lodge because it's literally in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're trying to find hotels, and hotels in Delaware are, or in Dover are really hard to find. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I was saying, the airport's are in Philadelphia and Baltimore, so they're each 90 minutes to almost two hours away. Wow. So people were flying in and would have to drive. Hmm. Um, we were actually driving up and shuttling people down ourselves in some instances, absolutely. Wow. wow. Um, so the th- Unpub 3 and 4, we moved to uh, St. Thomas More Academy, which is a high school, okay. and we took over the cafeteria. <laughs> and so that worked out really well. Um, Unpub 3, every single table in the cafeteria had a designer sitting at it. Uh, at that point, everything was always full-time mm-hmm. tables. Mm-hmm. Um, so if you got the table, you just had it for the whole weekend. Were those right. single-day events? or uh, Two-day events. Okay. From two the beginning? Event. Yeah, it was Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Saturday. Oh, no, the first one was just one day. FOP Lodge made it two. No, FOP Lodge was one. Mm-hmm. When we moved to the cafeteria, we made it two days. Okay. Um, so one Saturday, Sunday. And, yes, because the cafeteria is when we first made breakfast. So Sunday morning, we made breakfast for everybody. Ooh. And that's where Patrick we taught. Patrick Nickel brought well, our scrapple. Taught everybody scrapple. Scrapple. Yeah. Because, yes, Patrick <laughs> Nickel, uh, uh, P. Nicky was like, I was telling him about the wonders of Scrapple because I was doing graphic design for his games at that point. And uh, he was like, what is a Scrapple? And I was like, it's amazing. It's wow. like this thing. It's an Amish dish. It's the best. Is it amazing? It's, st- <laughs> it's amazing. Are you sure? It's so positive. <laughs> if you have the right brand, it's amazing. So I put honey on it and that's it. Oh, it's, it's it's meat toast, somebody called it. And I was like, that's the absolute best <laughs> game that I have worn. Um, so, but we made breakfast for everyone on Sunday. So it was designer, it was the, the Publishers and Pancakes panel. Ooh, so it was good. a Q&A with publishers. And everyone was having, you know, pancakes. Right. And then we also did one where we pulled up the designers that have been published since Unpub 1, which, right. you know, was only two years. Right. So, but it was a couple of them. And uh, so we did that. And then uh, Unpub 4... It was at the cafeteria, but we went way past the max capacity allowed in the room. Mm. And no one said anything. No one called it out. We knew it. And we're just like, well, if someone comes, like, mm-hmm. what are we going to do? Mm-hmm. Never happened, thankfully. Uh, but we knew at that point it could never happen at four again. Right. And between three and four, John stepped out. Uh, he got married. He, you know, got on a different career path and right. all that stuff. So life literally got in the way. And he was just like, I, I feel like I can't keep up. Right. And he goes, so I'm just going to. Drop it. I said, no, you're not. I'll take it. Um, and so I, 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 I picked up the baby. No, Daryl, really, what was that, like a month and a half, two months Sucker. before? Yeah, yeah. It was oh, like a month like before. December and four. the show was in January. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah so it, was, it was always a Martin Luther King, King weekend. weekend. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. always that. Um, Ding. Ding. Martin Luther King. Hi. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Rec- Recruit social worker is done. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Good note. Uh, that was, was that? Stephen Thomas. Ding. 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 Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, so, yeah, so he dropped. So, uh, but, but between four and five, we knew we had to do a move. Um, and so I started putting feelers out. And I wanted to get to a place that was closer to an airport. Because uh, right now people were flying in and then driving to a hotel that was 20 minutes away from the high school because that was the closest hotel we could get. Um, 
And so we looked at Philadelphia. We looked down at uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. We looked at Baltimore. And at the end of the day, the Baltimore Convention Center was the cheapest. So we're like, we're moving to the Baltimore Convention Center. So we are officially at that point a convention because we are in a convention center. Right. Even if ten people showed up, it was it was a convention. It was, was unpub five, damn it, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, convention. Um, so we did a Kickstarter for it and all that. And yeah, so the five, six, seven was at the convention center, and we were treated so well by the convention center. <laughs> There's a shout st- out. <laughs> Let me tell you why. <laughs> yeah. Those Baltimore conventions. <laughs> Baltimore Convention, the convention centers in general, do not nickel and dime you for everything. No. And they you do don't not, have to deal with unions. Yeah, yeah, and, I know it's. And when you announce to them that you're great. moving to a new location and thank you very much for all your, the the work and stuff that they put in, There's they no do spot. not say, "Hey, remember this bill from two years ago? <laughs> you know, you should pay this, or we're going to seek legal action." <laughs> Even though we've done two shows since that bill was dated. Uh, right. Yeah. Hypothetically, yeah. speaking. hypothetically, hypothetically speaking, in theory, in theory. Um, in theory. Right. Yeah. So then none moved. of these things would ever happen. <laughs> so five, six, seven at the convention center, they were good. They were great. They were excellent for the program. We started bringing in VIPs. We brought in Richard Lanius, ding. ding. Mike Fitzgerald, ding. ding. Eric Lang, ding. ding. Bob Davio, ding. ding. That's it. Zeb Slashinger. Oh yeah, Zeb and Zeb. Yeah, Zeb. Zeb was the last one at the Baltimore Matt Leacock. Center. No, Matt Leacock oh, yeah, was here. Yeah. Matt Leacock yeah. was here. Don't jump ahead on the dings. Ding, 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 ding. So we had them there, and th- it was great. Every single year of the three years that we had a convention center, we grew larger and larger and larger. We mm-hmm. had to get more space. We had to get different halls. Yep. And uh, it, it, was, it was awesome. And then Brad and I, and really the rest of the board, were sick and tired of the nickel and dime. Like, oh, you want an extra chair? That's $30. So like, for a chair? Right. Yeah, yep, yeah it's, it's 30 bucks. Yeah. We were literally oh, sneaking in the back. I can say this now. We were sneaking in the hallways in the back, like, oh, we need chairs. Grab them, quick. Run them back. Uh, you know, we were doing that and then putting them back at the end of the night. Right, so, right. you know, ha, ha, ha. We got them. <laughs> no one leave your ass print in this seat because we didn't want them to think it was fresh. Um, so, but event, so at Umpub 7. Yeah, 7. Mm-hmm. So 7, Brad and I came here. Mm-hmm. Uh, during the actual convention, we came over here for a meeting mm-hmm. yeah. and toured the place. And at that point, we were like, yeah, this is where we're going to move. Yep. Uh, we didn't announce it until we wanted to make sure everything was signed. And that, yeah. We let everyone know that we were moving locations, right. um, which was great because even though everyone liked the convention center, there was a cry out that they were missing the old school unpub. Uh-huh. Like they're missing the right. whole cozier, the feel. cozier the feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the trapped in the, the woods. The, the, the feeling threatened <laughs> that you're going to be murdered. Well, you the, still got that yeah, feeling right. on the streets of Baltimore. Well, 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 it was well, a different well, kind of like, oh God, I'm going to be murdered. Now it has the woodsy, like, I'm dying, but it's pine salt yeah. fresh. Person. I'm dying based out of this gutter. Yeah. You know? Do you um, smell heroin? I smell heroin. <laughs> <laughs> and also um, being separated into 15 different hotels all over the place. Oh, yeah. Seventy dollars yeah, yeah. a it day was, for parking. Yeah. Um, it was it, it was, was one negative thing to another. Mm-hmm. And even though the actual convention place itself was great, we were sacrificing too much outside of that. Mm-hmm. Um, not to mention our budget for actually having the convention center. What were the um, time limits back then? Were you, were you there till 2 a.m. still? No, it, we, was, it was, yeah. we had to be out the door at midnight. Oh. One. We were done at midnight. We kicked everyone at midnight. We had to be out by yeah. 1 every night. So you had to have everything clean Otherwise, out. we had to start paying $200 an hour for security guard past that. Right. Even if it went one minute past yeah. 1 right. o'clock, wow. we were paying for the So we were like... We were super nice during the day, but at night we're like, okay, go, right. seriously, GTFO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, uh, so anyway, so we moved here. Um, and this, even the, the we're a nonprofit, mm-hmm. so, you know, costs are pretty much sort of public, I guess. Right. Um, but the costs are very similar between the convention center here, but the difference here is you get that so much more. we have far more bang for the buck. Mm-hmm. We we're not nickel room. and dimed. Right. We have this room. Right. We have this room we right have now. Five other of these. Yeah, rooms. we have five right. side rooms. Correct. Um, we can open up the air walls and not be charged $300 for it to be done. Right. <laughs> $300 to open it, $300 to close it. And it's not like, oh, we need it done by, you know, 8.30. Oh, that's union break. We don't deal with any of that here. It's yeah. just, we need it done. Cool, boom. I yeah. pick up a phone, or Brad picks up a phone, or Ben picks up a phone, and saying, happens. we need yeah. this, and it happens. Yeah. There's no attitude. There's no nothing. It's amazing. Right. And right. plus, the fact that it's a hotel, we're copying a little bit of BGGCon, but I wanted to model that because BGGCon, were the old location they're moving this year, um, but I loved everything. I was like, oh my God, everything's in the same hotel. Right. 
Right. I never have to leave. Mm -hmm. and you, this is amazing. And you still had those special areas, like the 25s and the whole 11th floor where you had extra events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Outside. Oh, yeah. It wasn't just like everybody in one space. Right. You had the extra space. Yep. You have the side rooms and all yeah. the extra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this kicked in, and like the hall was a little bit smaller than the convention center, but it's differently shaped, so we were able to still have about the same number of tables. Mm -hmm. The vendor hall being right out, literally the hallway right outside, and mm -hmm. everything worked. Everything. And so... We jumped on it. We've stayed here. We look to still be here in the foreseeable future. Yeah. And I've been monologuing for 15 minutes, and no one said, shut up, my turn. So. <laughs> well, no, I mean, but that's we, well, you, 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 you guess what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 version of Unpub. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so, what are the big plans for 10? Um, are you going to change so, to an X? We'll so find 10, out May 1st. Yeah, you can go Roman numerals. <laughs> <laughs> Unpub un un X. Unpub X. Extreme. Unpub X1. Unpub X2. No, Unpub XXX. It's, oh no! <laughs> I'm up thirty. I'm up thirty. 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 I was gonna say that escalated very quickly. I mean, that's a, that's a whole different. Kind well, of with thing. well with they our experiences the with our experiences with our other conventions, there's always been something else going on. So, yeah. like one year we had cheerleaders outside. This year there's a, there was a pagan thing going on. There was a so the yes. 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 yes insurance registration. And yes, yes. at yeah. Unpub XXX, there's going to be like a nudist convention yeah. going on, oh, and we're just going man. to just go with the but, fun. By the way. Wait, let's address the horse in the room. Hashtag, <laughs> the hash, hashtag hope you like horses. Uh, yeah, oh, right. yeah. I guess if there's so, a negative drawback to this hotel, it's, it's horses. The horses everywhere. Uh, it's horses. If you think that's horses. a negative, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's not. It's not even just horses. Like the elevators. It's like Over here's a head. photo of like yeah. the jockey's ass on the horse, <laughs> <laughs> and it's literally just a close up of ass cheek leg and and the side of the horse, and I'm like. Who framed that? <laughs> Who thought this is a beautiful photo? So the last podcast from last night heard this too, but you know the toilets are like six inches off the ground because <laughs> jockeys are short. Yeah, <laughs> my oh, God. Yes. Well, we like, should probably, we should probably say, <laughs> like we were we were singing the praises of this hotel just a yeah, couple of seconds ago, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I was thinking we should probably plug it, but right. now I'm not sure. Well, no, 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 but here's the reality too. I don't even see it as a negative thing because I think it's actually generated buzz for the convention itself. Sure. Because you get oh, the, like there's people the driving in. Hope, yeah, reading hope, Twitter. They yeah. Show like, hope they're hope you like horses. Somebody posted a picture of like a horse. Next year Guess we're gonna have blue riding a horse. <laughs> yes, yeah, perfect. There you go. Done. There you go. And, and like that's the thing. Like it's 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 just one more thing to sort of. Uh, I think it enriches the memory of this yeah. convention. Sure. Yeah. Uh, because yeah. you go home, you sort of laugh about the horses that were staring at you in your sleep. When you're going to the bathroom. Yeah. You know, and there's some. Some things with the horses that are really nice, like the the all silver horses right. in the lobby. That's cool. Yeah. The saddles coming. The, the weirdest later. thing is the saddles. massive <laughs> amount of saddles that are mounted on the wall as you're coming down the escalator. <laughs> and I keep thinking to myself, these are all symbols of jockeys that have died here. <laughs> they just retired the saddle. No one's buckle ever sit on this one again. And I'm doing this because it's about the size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, right, right. Jockeys right are there. small. Some good radio, <laughs> no man, you know. Um, uh, so anyway, uh, sorry. Your question was on Pub Ten, though. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, there there's changes from Pub Ten. Um, we have been. Doing Martin Luther King weekend for the longest time, then started pushing out to February, then we jumped to April, and then we jumped back to March, and we've been in March for a little bit. The The reason why the big song and dance is we're trying to not only avoid conventions, but yeah. uh, religious holidays. Yep. Like, they're all over the place. And yeah, I mean, now there's a convention literally every week. Every week. Right. Right. So, right. in March, for four straight months. months. Right. 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 So, case in point, this is what we've been dealing with the last couple of years. So, it's usually been Gamma the weekend before or the week of mm -hmm. our show. And then it's PAX East either the weekend before, the weekend after, or the week of our show. Mm -hmm. And there's two other shows I'm not remembering the name oh, of them. Breakout Con was last weekend in Toronto. Yeah, yeah. and it's just, there's always something. And uh, Terminal City is next week. And it's what just... What was that? Mag, was MagCon? Was that MagCon? Mag 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 Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody's been talking about it this, this week, so I, right. I, that's why I associated so it. So the, the thing is, let's get out of the convention rut, yeah. which is hard to do. Right. Um, and let's get out of, like last year, we were middle of March, and we got snow. Yep. Right. And so we that snow, that hurts right. attendance, it no does. matter what. Even if it's just snowing and not sticking, yeah. people look out and go, nope, nope, nope yeah. not a chance in hell we're getting out in that. Right. And, and, and this year we only had hail. This year we had hail. We had some rain. We had yeah. some rain. Yeah. Um, driving in that is terrible. Mm -hmm. It's not evil spirits. It's just rain. <laughs> um, but um, uh, so... 
on Pub 10, a long story short, <laughs> after I've said the long story, yeah, no, uh, totally we are moving to uh, Memorial Day weekend yeah. for, uh, for 2020. Mm-hmm. And that is the weekend of May 22nd. Yep. And, uh, yeah, the whole point is to get into warmer weather, to avoid conventions. Not many conventions have that weekend. They're, there's probably a reason for that. Yeah. We may find out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, you know, it, as we have said from the beginning about Unpub mm-hmm. is the Unpub is all about prototypes and games and trying to get feedback. And yeah. the convention itself is a prototype. Every year we're changing it. Every year we're pushing it. Mm-hmm. We get we push out massive surveys to everyone that attends. Mm-hmm. And we take all the responses to heart when they come back. Mm-hmm. And we, okay, how do we fix this for next year? How do we address this? How do we do this? And we can't please everybody. We, right. We're well aware of that. Right. But we can do what we can to try to please the, the overwhelming mass that has been asking for stuff. So this is just one of those changes. And it's also... A good change because we're looking at well, like there's kids here. Like most conventions, you don't see a lot of kids. That's true. Right? Uh, so we're trying to embrace the family friendliness of this by moving to Memorial Day. So we're talking about having a room to help kids with game design, right. and you know the the pool will be outside. We've had game designers that have outdoor party games and they can't do it mm-hmm. because it's either cold or raining or snowing. Mm-hmm. Now we have, you know, granted it could still rain in May, but right. uh, the odds of it are far slimmer than now. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's a move to try to uh, allow all that to come into the... And people don't have to leave at noon to catch a flight on That's Sunday. Correct. Correct. Yeah, yeah, people don't have to rush out because everyone's off Monday. Mm-hmm. Right. Well, that's and question. I'll bring the smoker and I'll, I'll smoke out for Sunday. everybody. What's no, that? we're going to keep it going on the weekend. You're going to end Sunday? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. So the, the big change like this year to, to, to go on the feedback and survey thing was we had it Thursday this year for mm-hmm. designers and publishers and sponsors only. And that was has been asked for m- many moons, mm-hmm. and we're just like, well, we can't, we can't really, I, really, why? That's kind of odd. Like you have half a day Friday, use that. And so this year we're like, all right, fine, we'll give you what you want, and it was amazing. Like yeah, it was awesome. Really Everyone well. loved we it. Was. And so it's like, okay, well, we're keeping it, that. It gave them time. It gave them a travel day that wasn't also, and I have to be there by noon to set up. Correct. Right? It yeah. gave us the opportunity to run more panels because we had all these rooms, yep. or run panels more than once to re- work around people's schedules. Yep. I, mean, I, think I those did have things, to travel to get here by three that? for a panel. Yes, yes, you did. <laughs> but I made it the three o'clock panel and not the one o'clock. I really appreciate <laughs> that because it wouldn't have happened otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing. We worked around people's schedules. Right. But, but uh, even uh, different days, we had different people on the same topic panel topic um and, and thursday really just allowed us to get that that community feel that we had in in dover yep. to bring that back because everybody just kind of knew where to congregate to yep. they could hang out together what you know you show me yours i'll show you mine right not in the unpub xxx number 30 <laughs> but number just 30. It, it, designers you know back in delaware they were playing each other's stuff a lot yeah at the convention center they were not yeah. they right. were manning yeah. their table Yep. So it gave them more freedom to do those things before the show even starts uh, for the public in the Mad Rush. Yeah. We, we've had multiple times this year designers coming up that have been to the older shows. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily, uh, out of, there's only three designers that still come that have been to every single unpub mm-hmm. as a designer. Uh, that is myself, ding, ding, <laughs> <laughs> TCC Petty, ding, ding, ding. And, and Josh, Josh Temkin, ding, ding, ding. That's it. That, that 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 those are the legacy or the legend designers. The legend. I don't know what the hell we call are them. They like, are they the ultra rares? <laughs> they're the ultra rares. <laughs> they're the mythic. <laughs> the mythic <laughs> <they're> legendary. <laughs> uh, but uh, the ones that have been to the cafeteria and all that, they they got that old school feel of Unpub, the 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 camaraderie mm-hmm. that it had. It's not just a stale convention. Mm-hmm. And they said by adding a Thursday, and we pushed the start for the public playtesting to noon Smart. this year, mm-hmm. and they were like. We don't know how you did it, mm-hmm. but it feels like old school on pub, mm-hmm. and it's amazing. Yeah. Like days of the times, yeah. and uh, I've heard it overwhelmingly. Mm-hmm. You've heard it. Uh, my wife has heard it. Right. Like it's just. So Everybody we're like, okay, the we did something. Right. Tell Daryl that, so he feels really bad. <laughs> <laughs> cool, very cool. That's 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 fine. That's why I drink. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I mean, I I've only I've been I'm a recent you know uh, visitor to this. So I, last year was my first year. I'm pub. Mine too. And this is my second year. Welcome back. Uh, but this this is very rapidly based on my experiences from last year and this year. This is part of my annual planning. You know, so it's like and, and or, I've never been to Origins. Origins is new for me this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna test the waters with that. But it, this was it last like last year. It was unplugged and unplugged. So the 
was like that. Unplugged uh, is yeah. a fan tip for it's it being its second us. year. It, it's quickly becoming one of my favorites. Right. They right. Do and, and I don't know how they pull it off, honestly, because it's like it's there's a massive amount of people there, but it still feels like it, it home. feels like there's yeah. <laughs> right. Like right. it's just packed, spent, but it doesn't feel packed. I spent yeah. an entire weekend yeah. in a room of fifty tables with people wearing blue shirts. A bunch of Bloodle signs. What were you oh, doing in a room of 50 tables and PAX Unplugged? Oh! So, so oh, we, oh, we do that. Oh, that's years. interesting. <laughs> well, Tell us years, more. We've developed a relationship with PAX yeah. to help them run their playtesting events. You know, at PAX East, we've had, you know, six or eight tables. At PAX South, we've had six or eight tables. And when PAX Unplugged was going to be in Philly, hey, guess whose backyard that is? <laughs> And so last year we had about 20 tables at the first show. You know, they're playtesting their, their convention in Philly, too. This year they gave us 50 tables. They like doubled our size. Yep. I mean, for comparison, there are 82 tables here. Right. Um, and they, they, were, they were, oh, those 50 tables going to be good. And we were like, yeah, we, we think it'll be all right. <laughs> They sold out in an hour after putting them up. Yeah. And they were like, really? And we're like, uh, yeah. We, we so wait listed 17 people on Sunday. We had 27 people Sunday that wanted to get in that were not able to sign up that Whoa. showed up in case somebody else didn't. Yep. But and it was it yeah. was almost like mini unpub. Yeah. Like, yeah. And just well, to be not clear. Not mini, but like the. Like mini unpub. Yeah, just to be clear. <laughs> Slightly at, smaller. At, at, at other shows like that, we don't sell out tables because we don't sell them. We, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, you yeah. go to our website and you can register. But you right. sign up and yeah. register. The, the only show that tables are ever charged for is this one. Is this one. Because it is the only focus. It's the only thing. We're not yeah. piggybacking off of someone else's uh, yeah, show. That's correct, yeah. So. And that's for, yeah, it's for even minis that we run events outside of conventions. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So, uh, yeah, so Philly's been in. I, I've heard rum, rumors that uh, at PAX Unplugged next year, we will have more tables. Well, we may very well. I've heard some rumors like that, too. <laughs> yeah. I may have heard some at PAX Unplugged. <laughs> so what happens when the PAX Unplugged Unplugged becomes bigger than Unplugged Prime? But because then it's, we not, the, it's no, not the same. It's not the same. Yeah. It's not the same. Yeah, it's it's not not the same. same. We're not the only game. We're not the only thing about that. No. Like, is I don't, it, is I it think so. It's not in the least bit. Because it's a different crowd there, too. Yeah. It's a different city. It's a core. It is. It's, it's, it's and not, right. we've heard a lot of feedback from people coming in that they heard about this event from being at PAX. Correct. And since it was, since Baltimore and Philadelphia are like relatively hour, close, yeah. they come right. on down and, 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 and it helps us. the people that are going to that show are going for that show, the open gaming, mm -hmm. the events and whatnot, and Unpub at Unplugged will be a part of that for them. Right. Here, they are coming specifically for this. They are coming here to play Dad Last with Ian Zag at mid <laughs> at midnight, and then play other and then play other games, you know, late into the night, That's so that the Unpub Janitor Squad shuts it down at four a.m. <laughs> right. Yep. You know, props to the Unpub Janitor Squad. Yeah. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Uh, who actually, that? Who, who it's it, it, it's who John down? Prather. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Tony Dang. Miller. That's right. Dang. I believe Matt Jacobs was there yep. as well. Dang. And Dang. I don't know who else, but they have <laughs> selfied every night when they close the they room have. down. Yep. Yeah, purple um, people leaders always out there. Uh, yep, yep. Getting, uh, people, so, people meet so us, you know, they're here. It's it's a different <laughs> show. So so yeah, there may be you know it's it's I don't think they're in competition with each other at all. Right? No, you, you, right. we could have two hundred tables at Pax Unplugged. Mm -hmm. Um, at that point, though, we would be larger than Pax Unplugged. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. right. Um, it, it, yeah. Uh, but no matter what, it's still a completely different focus. It's a completely yeah. different mindset. Right. This Pax Unplugged, at the end of the day, is like every other gaming convention you think of when you say gaming convention, where right. the focus is a major hall that's selling games. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is a major hall that's playing games. This is and, and, Game Designer Summer Camp, except yeah. there's no cabins. Right. There's no... There's no campfire and s'mores, though we could do that. We could do that. Because we're all in one place and we're all there together and we all write letters home to mom because we can't find our underwear. <laughs> we can burn horse saddles to the but like, I, say, yeah. there are no, like, I, like, I found is, your underwear, is, by the way. Right. That, this is like this is like a a, a you know a, a embiggened retreat it, it compared is. to that convention. Right. right. And, and I think that's that's true because it almost it's like a it's almost like a rest period for designers too. Like entering into that the really busy, heavy convention yes. time of the year where they can almost shoot ideas off each other, but really just spend the time with each other and have those conversations about the challenges of the previous year and just sort of work through all that. I've, I've seen it happen with almost a lot of I mean, I've, mm -hmm. I've had this conversation with myself, but just really work through all the craziness of last year and sort of reset for the challenges ahead of this year. A lot of, and yes, mm -hmm. and a lot of people look at Unpub to being the show you have to go to if you plan on pitching at Gen Con or Origins Correct. that year. Correct. And uh, I, I kind of I disagree with that. Mm -hmm. I think 
anyone like um, we had uh, Sarah Trice, for instance. Mm-hmm. She brought a game that she literally just printed off, cut up, and there it was. And it was great. It was a good game. Right. Right. Like, it Dang. doesn't need to be Dang. anything. Yep. <laughs> um, it doesn't need to be a finished, polished, no. pretty. No. I went through a Green Crafter or Printer Studio mm-hmm. to get these cards. Mm-hmm. It could be anything. But as long as it plays and you're looking for feedback, right. we welcome you there, into the house. There are game designers who, on their drive up here, came up with games that they are testing here. Yep. There are game designers that came up with games on Tuesday that I've played on a panel this week. Right. Yep. Um, there are, like, there's there's things, there's there's that long-term game that I've been working on for a few years. There's yep. that game that sat on the shelf that I brought back off. There's that game that I had an idea for two weeks ago. Yeah. And that's... There's, there's a 16-year-old kid who designed a game on his iPad in an hour, printed it up in the business center, and, and then was play, and play tested it. Was but that was over awesome. the course of this weekend. Yeah. 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 Um, and let me stress, kid... Yeah, it's awesome. Who right. has a table all for both blocks. That's both blocks. 16 hours of, of demoing his stuff and playtesting it to get get them better. That's dedication. 16-year-old kid. That's He's going to be famous. Alex something. Dang. Torres. 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 Yeah, that's, that's, a, a, that's a half day. Yeah. 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 Is it a, his name's not Alex. Yeah. Ding. Um. <laughs> Al- Alex, one more time. Alex Torres. That yeah, Alex Torres. Yeah, he's... He's a great kid. Okay, awesome. Um, he's come up to me multiple times to update me on the progress of that game throughout <laughs> yeah, the day. Yeah. He's very enthusiastic. He's very, yeah. And, but it's good. it's good enthusiastic. It's not Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Go away. Mm. Yeah, we don't have anyone that's annoyingly <laughs> enthusiastic. Uh, yeah, just, yeah. Just press you'll, you'll not go. in this community. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, jump, jumping back content. to this year. Okay. So this year we brought Rob Davio back. Mm-hmm. Ding. Ding. Thank you. Uh, and we actually brought in, for the first time, because... We were always doing designers or publishers mm-hmm. and kind of going back and forth. Rob is kind of both now with restoration games right. and with uh, obviously yeah. being Rob Davio. When he was here last time, it was after he was Rob Davio. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. he was. He was. He had started out as that like freelance designer. Yep. Right. You know, restoration games the wasn't even today. a thing. Mm-hmm. Right. And uh, that was funny because that show was in March, and then when I saw him again in September. He was telling me that, oh yeah, I'm starting up this company called Restoration Games, and I was like, what? what? <laughs> and so it was funny within like a span of six months how much everything changed. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we brought him back again to have insight from that, from his Hasbro times, and from a designer, because obviously his whole legacy, everything is just blown up. Of he does course, every yeah. legacy. Um, <clears throat> he did a really brilliant panel. He did a prototype panel, um, and it's not what you think. He gave everyone when they came in a blank playing card and a pen, and he said, write down. Whatever. You can write down a single word, you can write down a question, and then you're going to turn it into Lindsay, who, who's his wife and business partner with Restoration Games. Mm-hmm. And she was making an Excel sheet, or an Excel presentation with all the cards as the slides. Rob had no idea what they were, and so he was doing his presentation as if he wrote this Excel presentation, <laughs> and he had to join everything together, not knowing what was next. Oh. It was brilliant, and the best train wreck you've ever seen in your life. It was hilarious. <laughs> Um, and it worked really, really well. It was really original, but it's it's, it's Rob. Mm-hmm. Um, and then because, again, we've always done the designer pl- publisher does publisher. People have been asking for differences, so we reached out to our first artist this year, and who better than Quan Chai Moria? Oh. Ding 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 ding. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Quan Chai uh, lives in California, and we flew him out because it's Quan Chai. Right. right. He's right. he's his art is amazing. And he said yes. And he said yeah. yes. And. And he was excited. He was excited, which we we didn't know about. At first, he was like, oh, yeah, sure, that sounds great. And I was like, cool, come on. And I really reached out to Quan Chai. Well, I love his art, but because, you know, we know each other. So I was like, oh, this will be the easiest one to just flat out ask. <laughs> um, so he was like, yes. And so we brought him out. But before he came out, he did this whole big, like, Facebook post about how he started off in this industry not knowing what to do, like being right. the artist, just helping out. Right. And, like, he's... For the first time, I ever got invited as a, a to a convention, and I was just like, oh, yeah, "I didn't know like any of this. Like this is awesome. <laughs> um, like way to steal that story from us. We could have put that on the <laughs> website. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn um, you, Zuckerberg! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why do our Facebook post on the good corporate time? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, 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 we need to monetize. Quasi has been ignored and disrespected <laughs> until we came along. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but so, so we brought Quan Chai in this year, and so obviously with uh, Pop 10 next year, 
Uh, we're, we're, oh God, what are we gonna do? I know we got big plans. We, we <laughs> yeah. got big okay. plans. Yeah. But so. those those plans still have to you know work around everybody's of schedules course. and availability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. of course. We're, no. we're not announcing anything until everything's signed on the dotted line. Yeah, so. and and that's respectable. Um, it's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> ah. uh, I mean, so. she created this. Yeah. So um, it's in case you lose your underwear. It's just you, she'll bring extra. <laughs> yeah. I wrote it on the waistband. <laughs> <laughs> so I missed it, but uh, Mark Davis dared one of us to shave our heads. I don't know who Mark Davis is. I'll so <laughs> I, I, I will shave my head if Mark Davis sponsors us uh, or donates to ooh, a charity. Me amount of. Somebody making up a number that's like big so that he won't do it. Eight thousand dollars. That number. Eight thousand. <laughs> There you go, Mark. Falls in your court. <laughs> yeah, put, put the link in chat. Yeah. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> My bank account number is... <laughs> so the charity is the, 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 the human fund. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Helping humans with the initials BB everywhere <laughs> in this room. Um, yeah. yeah. So, so, yeah, so... Um, I guess uh, the plan going forward. So your your ten's coming out, but like, uh, what what are what do you guys need from the community as a whole that maybe you because uh, obviously they're providing themselves and, and, and what's this motion you guys are doing there? Yeah, I've yeah. seen that. Before. We're rolling yeah. joints. Yeah. Yeah. Really, yeah. really, really, really joints. Yeah. Boogers. That boogers. That makes for good yeah, really boogers. boogers. Right. boogers right. Right. Sorry, yes, for all the kids, it's boogers. Like, like Daryl mentioned before, we are a nonprofit. Correct. And the, what we get from this show. Mm -hmm does pay for this show. Right. But we mentioned being at PAX Unplugged, mm -hmm. right? We mentioned uh, we're, we're going to be, we're at PAX South. We have people that went to PAX yeah. South. Origins. We have PAX people East. going to Origins. Origins. We have people at PAX Washington. East. We have, you know, we have just all these things that we're a part of. Mm -hmm. Even being here at this show, mm -hmm. you know, this just just the board and the staff, not even counting the volunteers that are helping us, giving it their time. Right. We're in for, you know, five or six hotel rooms. Correct. That's, are not figured into the cost of that show. Right. To get to PAX East, if we have one volunteer go, that's still three or four nights at a hotel room yes. that we've got to come up with. That might be a flight or a train ride, or hey, we'll give you a hundred bucks in gas money. Right. This show, the, the the goal of this show is not only to pay for this show. It's to pay for the organization. It pays for the organization and everything we need to do throughout the year. Yep. Um, and so that's why you, you hear us joke about money. Mm -hmm. But it really is. It'd be nice if... We came here, we like if Daryl and Leslie and Brad and Sarah were here for four nights mm -hmm. and pay only had to pay for three of them, right? Or none of them. Yep. We hope to get there someday. And and though it's, it's those extra operating costs beyond what you see for the budget for this show alone, correct? Is what we really need help with. And every show deals with that, mm -hmm. but every show in a lot of cases is a business and a one time thing, right. Right. whereas we are that year round operation, yeah. Daryl, if you cry, I'll point and laugh. I'm not crying. I love you. I'm just agree. Oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys no, sing some Sarah McLaughlin? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Um, I'm thinking about dead dogs. <laughs> oh. Think of the saddles. Think of the dead jockeys. Who um, cheers you up? <laughs> Um, no, no, you, you're very right. Like, On Pub cares about dead jockeys too. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we get it. Like, uh, you know, we 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 beg for sponsorships. We do that at every convention, more or less, and we right. definitely do it gearing up to this show to make right. sure everything's covered for this show. Uh, but it's at the end of the day, we need to make sure we still have money in the coffers after the show to right. continue for the rest of the year, yeah. and then rinse and repeat year after year. Right. So we, we're. We're all volunteer. No one yeah. gets paid. Uh, right. We're a nonprofit, but it's a no one gets paid. Yes. One hundred percent volunteer. Um, so we've had many volunteers say yes. Oh wait, Re yeah, no, never mind. Mm -hmm. I can't. And mm -hmm. I can't. You know, none of us can be mad at them. None of us can fault them. We get it. Everyone has a life, and mm -hmm. so they come and go. We can't, don't take it personally. Can't right. take it personally. Right. And but we, we we've had some meetings and things are. Potentially in the works for the future, and we're hoping okay. that helps remedy that. Yeah. So there'll be some changes for Unpub, and sure. hopefully all for the positive. Right. Because okay. we could, we could, you know, jack up the price here and right. make it two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you know, we sold out tables for this show in less than eighteen hours. Correct. So there, we could do that. We don't want to do that. We want right. to keep it as affordable as possible while still offering 
as much of a service, offering that Thursday, right. offering the designer mixer, right. uh, having the room that we dedicate just to designers to chill and get get bits because they got to fix something. Mm -hmm. They have tape. Like we want to offer those things right. without just you know jacking up the price because we know we could find people to pay it. Right. We were nickel and dime to the convention center. Mm -hmm. Our goal has never to have been nickel and dime everybody else. Mm -hmm. right. We don't want to yeah, be the, hey, yeah, do this. Like, you want right. to use the designer room? That's an extra five dollars. You want to do this? That's right. an extra. We don't want oh, to do your that. Your friend right. Jimmy told you to come down because he had a great time last year. Five bucks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we don't want to. Oh wait, you said Jimmy twenty five bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> like any, anytime we want to add costs in, it's to the benefit of the designer. Yeah. As in, like this year, we offered lunch and dinner service directly to the game tables. Right. So you guys had to buy the the meal, obviously, mm -hmm. but we brought it to you. Mm -hmm. Like, and that was something because they can't get away for lunch. They can't get away from dinner because. Right. Literally, when the public gets here, yeah. you are nailed to your table because you, are, you yeah. can't get away. Because yeah. one, one group gets up, yeah. another group immediately down, sits right. down. And it's Brad's like, been through this. Oh, yeah. This is the first year he hasn't had a table at all. Right. And it's like when Brad has a table, Brad's dead to us because there's not a <laughs> chance he can get away. Yeah, right. And, and, and so. that's, that amazes me that people still, knowing this, mm -hmm. buy both slots for one person. I mean, like you've got like Matt and Ben. I'm sorry. Matt Riddle, Ben Pinchback, somebody want to give me a double? Ding, ding, ding. 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 Right. Um, they, they can at least trade off. One of them will go play some other people's stuff while one runs the table. They can communicate in between, trade off, swap back. James Myers ding. will... Ding. Uh, Thanks, James. Yeah, James, James Myers <laughs> will spend the entire weekend at the table, and he's based on a co-design. He is running through the thing, and we joke, we joke about... Uh, having a block pool for how long it will take before he loses his voice. Yep. <laughs> because he just goes and goes and goes. And there are people that still do that and want to do that. I don't understand that particular <laughs> brand of masochism. It's because four hours goes by But so we've even had, like, TC, yeah. who has, like I said, done it every single year. And since we started uh, offering the tag tables... Which fun fact named after Jason Tagmeyer came yes. up with the Ding. idea of how to do them. <laughs> so I'm like, we're calling them tag, tag tables, <laughs> and that was it. Um, so, uh, but uh, TC every single year, he's like, I don't know why I got both blocks. I just want one block because I, I, I'm so just exhausted by the end of the day. And then he still ends up staying up till 3 a.m. for some stupid reason. It's because yeah. he's really dumb. Yeah, he's <laughs> so dumb. It's I mean, that's why he's moving to North Carolina, Carolina, right? Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but every single year, he's like, next year I'm going to just get one single tag. And I'm like, okay. Sure, yeah, buddy. Sure, buddy. <laughs> so, you know, it's... Uh, you do what you can do. If it's your first pub, I highly recommend just doing a tag table, just one block. Yeah. Um, and then see if you can do the whole thing. Because... Typically, what the people do that have just one block is the other block, they're playtesting right. everyone else's I game. Just generally, so. I'd recommend just get the tag. Yeah. Because you're going to want to network and experience other people's games. Yeah. And if you're tied to a table for the entire... Yeah. Yeah. But if you like marathons, adventure. if you like triathlons, if you like the Iron Designer <laughs> Challenge, get both blocks. Good luck. Go for it. <laughs> remember that you have five hours after the blocks end, and you're still doing playtesting with everyone. Yep, right. yep. And not only that, you're getting all this feedback, you're getting it to your phone because it's all digital. Mm -hmm. So most designers are going to go back to their bed and read designer emails, and if they got bad feedback, they're going to be like, what, what? Oh, look, laptop, let me fix, let me fix, let me fix. Right, right. Oh, crap, i got to be downstairs for the whole new day in one hour. <laughs> <laughs> and they're coming down here just like literally dragging their ass like, oh, okay. Are you speaking from experience? Yeah. <laughs> that was another reason why we pushed things a little bit later. Yeah. <laughs> so they'd have that yeah. extra no. Thursday night, we're like, well, we don't have anywhere, like, nothing starts till noon. Mm -hmm. I can stay up till five. <laughs> I'll still be good. They did it. Yeah. They, they did, did it. it. No, I, I, I know. <laughs> but it's one thing, you never, year. ever, ever, any convention, doesn't have to be this convention, any convention, you never push how late you can stay up the first night. That's that is a, the worst mistake That's you true. can do. No. Uh, people Kirk, were like, how long are you staying around tonight? And I was like, I'm... I'm out at two, so I can be up Saturday till four. Right, right, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. Saturday's always the late night. Yeah, because I can be sleepy on the drive home, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to be sleepy at a convention when I'm expected to walk twelve miles mm -hmm. to go to the bathroom right. and go buy more stuff and right. go back to the bathroom and buy more stuff. That's right. Yeah, you're going to the bathroom a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're all right. I want to check that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you were going to mention Chris Kirkman. Ding. Oh. Chris Kirkman. No, you were going to bring it up in the night or up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so Chris Kirkman, he is the the model that I built that whole uh, 
that hypothesis that you never burn, you never stay up till 5 a.m. the first night of a convention. Mm -hmm. because, because, because the last night... He's done it every single convention I go with him with. And the next morning, I don't see him until like 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. And he's like, I'm so sorry I slept. I'm like, gee, I wonder why, jackass. <laughs> well, Love at you, the Chris. end of the convention, he gets to film himself full of steak. Uh, that's very true. That's true. I mean, it, it, I guess it doesn't matter when you're the publisher and everyone's like coming up to you. That's true. Yeah, you know, I'm the one going up to them like, mm -hmm. please, sir, may I have some more? Right. And I guess, I guess in, his, in his situation, too, the first night would be the only night he could really do that because unless he does it every night, and I, I don't know, but the second night, he kind of has to be ready for the morning. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. like for us, the first night is kind of what we want to rest up for, so then we can party hard the second night. But as yeah. a publisher, Saturday is that, that when day. When you have a booth have, yeah. and you're showing up Thursday, right. you don't stay up till 5 a.m. Friday morning and then go, oh, I'm going to go run the booth Friday in Michigan. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're no. not. No. What uh, game no. am I trying to demo? Yeah, what is this? <laughs> yeah it looks like... <laughs> wait, 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 do I work for AEG? Yeah. <laughs> How did I get in the gay pride parade? What's going on? That's an origins joke. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that parade is awesome. It is. It's fantastic. It's amazing. It is great because we always stay across the street, so yeah. you have to cross the, the parade to get to the convention center. Yeah. And so I have now taken it to where I walk two blocks south of the convention center, uh -huh. and then jump in the parade. And <laughs> walk, 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 ride the parade. And come back to the convention center. I'm like, that was awesome! <laughs> you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta go with the current. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Exactly. But it's like, it's... And you come out covered in glitter. I, exactly. And, yeah, yeah, no, it's I great. I've been in parades so like before. Like first year in Baltimore. <laughs> I've been in parades, but that is like, you are just literally showered with love. Like It's yeah. like yeah. the most positive thing in the world. Yeah. It's like, this is so cool! I can do the show. Yeah. <laughs> now I gotta walk 12 miles to go to the bathroom. <laughs> uh, do you have any? Do you have anything you want to ask? Yeah, Brad. I have talked over you. No. I've been oh, Chris, you were Chris. Oh, sorry. This is all good. I mean, if I if I wanted to start a convention like this, what would you recommend to start off? Don't. <laughs> sure. Sure. Assuming Make that sure doesn't happen. Assuming that happens. Try from New England. Don't There's okay. nothing this side. Right. So I wouldn't aim huge to start. No. Like, not. as much as I make fun of the backwoods church meeting hall, the, the FOP lodge, and the cafeterias, if we didn't have those, I don't think Unpub would have been this far. The fact that we grew the venues based on the current attendance, mm -hmm. not on what was ever projected. Right. Um, and that's what helped. So every year it's like, okay, we can't do this here again. Um, we need a place that has maybe four more tables. FOB Lodge. Cool. Mm -hmm. Over there. Yeah. Uh, never like, oh, we need a place for a thousand people you a year two. You don't no. do the superhero team-up movie as the third movie. You yeah. do it as the sixth movie. <laughs> you wait ten years to get the pay. Right. Yeah. Not you don't start with Justice... I mean, Avenger. You don't start... <laughs> You build to it. Yeah. You don't start with Batman versus Superman. <laughs> right. Just ever. Uh, no. So what's everyone's no. top five favorite Marvel movies? Wow. Let's derail the crap out of this. Wow. No, I'm I do know. But speaking. No, we had a conversation <laughs> where um, we uh, we had set up because coming into this convention, we're having weekly meetings. You know, throughout throughout the year, it's like monthly meetings. We get to January, and it's like every week, and yeah. sometimes twice, yeah. for an hour after people who have kids have put them to bed. Right. Mm -hmm. you know. And then 10 minutes after that, we're finally actually maybe starting the conversation. <laughs> right, uh, right. Because the kids are really in bed. Right. But, uh, you know, but we mind. actually had, it's like, okay, so we're going to meet on Sunday. Everybody's going to watch Captain Marvel by then, right? <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. So we can talk about that it. Was, yeah. That was a topic of conversation. <laughs> the meeting before. Yep. I was, tr I was, Debating about trying to get a group to go see us this weekend. Oh, yeah. But then I was like, I am going to be so tired. That movie would be amazing. <laughs> and I'm going to fall asleep halfway into it. He goes, What about that jump scare? I'm like, That was me snoring. I think. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, when you elbowed me, it sucked. <laughs> <laughs> but really, I mean, it, it depends on what you're, I guess, you're looking. If you're looking to do something like this, um, yeah. we can help you do that. I mean, that's one of the things that we do because we have our minis that we run out of like that uh, local people, uh, right. community people, run out of libraries and um, uh, game, game stores, stores and, and, and bars like that. And bars. Mm -hmm. any, public, uh, any, any public any, place. Any, yeah. any public place. Yeah. I mean, you can do it in your basement if you want. I mean, I don't know how many... It's not the murder basement. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, well, right. please keep in mind, when you do an Unpub Mini, we put the address 
out on the internet. Oh, the internet, <laughs> right. So, right, right, right. I also don't have a basement. So. <laughs> oh, well, that would be really fun. <laughs> backyard, <laughs> garage, backyard, just a crawl space camp. It's the unpub escape room. You gotta find it to get into <laughs> My, my first unpub was the last year in Delaware, and I came away from that asking, "What can I do to help?" Right. So you know, how can you set something like this up? Help with a different convention. Yeah. Not necessarily this one, but a different convention. Because I said, how can I help? And it turned out the way I could help originally was by attending some unpub minis and just being there for local designers in my area. Yeah. And then I said, how can I help? And then the person who was part of some, some advisory boards for unpub uh, in those years had to take a step back from running those minis. And so I was able to step up and run the minis. Mm -hmm. And I kept saying, how can I help? And you know, what can I do? You know, we're in Baltimore, what can I do? We're in Baltimore, what can I do? We're in Baltimore, what can I do? We're, in, we're you know, even here, I've, I mean, I'm on the board, but it's still, what can I do? And I'm, I'm learning what I can do and what needs to be done mm -hmm. by seeing the, the struggles that these guys who have been doing it since I started had, and where can I take something off of their shoulders? Right. And, and those are things that you don't think of, you just think, I've got to stand up there and tell people the new raffle prizes are up, Get out of here at midnight. <laughs> Click and you walk away. Yeah. No, it it you've got that's, that's you got it. You've got to deal with the hey Daryl, hey Daryl, hey Chris, hey Chris, hey Chris, hey Chris. Everything comes to hey Chris because you were the one that said, "Hey guys, thanks for coming. See you next year." Yeah. And and some of that hey Chris is, do you know where there's a water fountain? <laughs> and and those things, you know, just just knowing those things and putting yourself out there is what's going to help you learn the process. You know, it, it, you, 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 you crawl before you walk, you walk before you run, because you, you learn steps along the way, you learn the little things. And that might be the first step, because then you're going to find out what you don't already know or what you didn't anticipate. Find somebody who's a masochist, who's <laughs> willing to work with you, right. so you get to do the fun stuff, like stay up till 2 in the morning, and they have to do the n annoying stuff, like deal with the union. <laughs> right? Right. It, it, Ben is the the ideal volunteer because he Mark is, is the ideal volunteer. Well, Mark, yeah, Mark, Mark, Ding, yeah. Ding, yes, he is a. I don't yeah. know Mark's last name. Mark is a designer. I think it is it. Ding. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Mean, but yeah. but I mean, it took multiple years before Daryl or Brad or anybody else said, "Can you go get this box for me? Can you go over there and and, and do?" I, I've been saying, I've got two hands. Yep. I say that all the time. I've got two hands. What can I do? Ben is one of those volunteers that is tenacious. Like, mm -hmm. he'll right. ask for help. You'll give him something. He'll do it. Come back. What can I do? Yeah, like, I just do? gave you something. Like, oh, fine. Do this. Mm -hmm. And you feel bad asking him to do anything mm -hmm. because he does a lot and doesn't complain about it. He will never, I'm doing way too what? much. Like, he, he, he will say... All right, I'm doing this. We need to back down. But he is. We have yet to find that threshold. And Ben, Brad, and I keep score, <laughs> and we're waiting for for Ben to go. F it, not <laughs> worth it. <laughs> we've also, we've also, I've also made known what my abilities and my skill sets and my comfort is. Sure. The, you know, this year, you know, I, I, I said I cannot do anything when we're coming into this event that involves any sort of. Hey, that banner needs to be designed. Not the guy. Right. Hey, hey, right. we need to we need to set up the, the the event on the website and get all the back end code set up for the feed. Not the guy. Mm -hmm. Ben, Ben, I've done the data merge on the badges. Can you go order them because the site we order them from is stupid slow? And if I do that, I'm not building the signs. Absolutely, I will do that. It's going to take me an hour. I know that. Mm -hmm. I'll listen to some music, watch some Netflix while I go through the process. But it's an hour you didn't have to do, so you could do the other things. That, that cater to your skill set. So find the things that match and the people who have other skill sets too. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And and he's yeah. he's he runs great interference. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, like it Brad helps. and I will the get size it. helps. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. it does. Where's Daryl? Brad and I, I don't exactly. know, and he's hiding right behind me. <laughs> yeah. And Brad I'm right behind I, him. <laughs> especially here, if Brad or I walk into a room, yeah. it's like, hey, well, we got a question. Oh, hey, but you know, hey, Brad, hey, Daryl, yeah. hey, Brad, yeah. hey, Daryl. Yeah. Yeah. And if Ben is nearby, it's like, hey, Daryl, go ask Ben. And I just turn <laughs> and walk the other way because yeah. I'm like, I just need to walk into yeah. a room and no one talk to me right. for a minute. Just right. like, <laughs> let me see what's yeah. going on. And that's why I've taken the role of the mayor. Like mm -hmm. I've. I've rested some of that, but I'm also, it's something I'm willing to do. It's something I'm comfortable with. Mm -hmm. I've rested that role of, 
I am the guy that's here it's that pressing you the go flesh. to. Yeah. Yeah. I press the flesh. I introduce people who don't know each other, right. who might have a reason that they need to know each other. Absolutely. But also like, hey, Ben, do you know if there's any kids games? We've got a family that just came in. Yeah, I know of two or three. I don't know all 183,000 games that are out there right now. <laughs> I don't know the game that got made up last night that the kid would love. But I can point them in a direction. Right. And it's just being out there and being that face. Yep. And, and it's, this is part of the brand for that now. And you'll see that like I'm not wearing the, sh the same shirt as that. I have them now. Mm -hmm. But this was, this was my brand kind of before this, that it, it, it makes me more visible. Mm -hmm. um, and funny thing came out of this today that I don't think I told either of you yet. <laughs> uh, so when I was, I was talking to Tanya and, and uh, Adam Hill was coming down the escalator wearing like a pink and white checked shirt. Oh, Adam Hill ding. ding. Um, I have to take a call. I have to take a call. Sorry. Just do it ask, ask, awesome. your, ask your brother it's, when the bachelor it's, party it's is. It's my wife's mother. We um. don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so, well, so she uh, Adam was <laughs> down and I was like, I, I just, all I did was yell up the escalator like, Adam, what are you stealing my brand for? And he's like, you don't own pink shirts, man, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and he came, he came up to me, and he found me about two hours later. And he's like, so it happened. I'm like, oh, what? He goes, so a guy came up to me, and he's like, I was told to come find you because I have an issue. Yes. <laughs> and he couldn't think. And then his brain went, oh, oh, somebody told you to find a guy in a pink shirt, and you saw a big guy in a pink shirt. So you came to me. <laughs> You need to go find Ben Beagle. He's wearing shorts because Adam was in jeans. So I was telling this story to uh, some people, and Matt Jacobs was part of that group. And Matt was like, so it's you're like, telling I'm sorry. Me yep. Thank you, Mario, but our princess is in another <laughs> cast. <laughs> so Matt Jacobs, dude. Somebody else give that thing to. Yeah. No, no. Matt Jacobs, uh, he, uh, he, goes, he goes, so you're telling me next year I need to wear a pink shirt. And I said, yes, but you need to wear different pants. And he's like, well, I've got a kilt. I said, heck, you can even porky pig it. <laughs> but, but so it's, it's different. You've got to be the... And then somebody else was like, what if I get pink overalls? So we just gave this little joke right there when I was telling the story to the first group of people. That, that like, this is, this, this is, there, there are still hazards in being the fat guy in the pink shirt <laughs> that you don't plan for. And going back to your question, there's things you don't plan for that right. you've got to... Yeah. By, by being a part of something else, just being here mm -hmm. as, a, as an attendee, you may see things that you didn't think about. And, and uh, uh, another tip. Oh, is, hi, Brad. Uh, oh, hi. Are you the one planning to run it? I am the one thinking about maybe setting up something to plan to he run. He was, and now that just, you guys no, just. <laughs> don't do what, uh, what John Moeller did. Don't do what I did, and I've learned to do the, I've learned to correct it. And that is, you know what? I, I know how the show needs to grow. I'll, I'll do it. I, I got it. I got uh, it. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know if I need help. I got it. Right. I'll, do, I'll take care. Uh, because you will end up in the hospital. <laughs> you will end up forgetting something. You will end up breaking something. You will, it's stress that's not worth it. And so this is the, and Brad will testify to this, mm -hmm. this is the first year where I feel like I did maybe 30% of the show. Mm -hmm. uh, Brad probably did 60 um, but you did you did what your responsibility should right be. right, but it's at the end of the day like I I I, I have not been able to say thank you to both of these guys because I feel like I did nothing for the show, but at the end of the day it's like no 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 I you know, we, we did everything we were supposed to do right. but, but it's just like there's that fear of that I didn't do it so do it I don't know right. if it was done or done right, and then it's just eventually it was just kind of like. It's done. Who cares? You you surround and then, yourself. But everything with was done. Do right. That, so they, right. You, yeah. They have proven that they can do that. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, going back to you know, going back to Mark. Uh, Mark showed up Thursday and said, "Hey, I just heard about this. I wasn't able to get a badge. I wasn't able to. But I'm here. What can I do?" And to your point earlier, some people volunteer, and you're like, "Okay, go move this box." And he moved that box. Okay, go do this. Okay. Hey, we're gonna need to start stuffing swag bags. Where do we do that? In the room. Okay, where do you need stuff? What do you need to set it up? But it's it's weird though when you don't it, know the person. But he's mm -hmm. at himself as he's gone. I know, but there's that at least for me, like there's the guilt of I don't know you and I feel bad telling you to move that carton of boxes from that room to that room, unload it and put it here in this order. Like I don't know you, and I don't know how much do you're you, willing to help when you're saying, let me help. Do you personally know the bus driver that's taking, you know, your kids to no, school? I, no, uh, yeah, it's me. <laughs> I know pretty well. Do you personally know... I'm wearing his pants. Do you personally know the person who, you know, grew the, the, the vegetables you're eating in your house? No, but you trust them 
Like, like yeah. you, you, you have a leap of faith but, to let them... But I'm not them asking separate. that person to grow the broccoli for me. No, but This people, is me asking no. people to do that. And but it's like, asked I you. could be doing that, and I feel bad asking someone else to help me. But if somebody says, hey, how can I help? But I'm saying this is yeah. the year where I've I learned know. to ignore Trust that. Trust me, I know. <laughs> and uh, and I, some of that was grow, just us not even going to you it. and saying on the back end, hey, this sounds right, right? Okay, it's done. Hey, Daryl, this is done. Oh, right. wait, I was going to... Oh, Daryl, it's done. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. Because we right. feel comfortable making those decisions right. and not having to go to you. Yep, right. So. Very cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah. And it's not it's not it's not oh. just Brad and I. I mean Leslie and Sarah have done oh my God. Uh, you know, they I, I don't know how or Leslie, I don't know why and how they're putting up with what they are. Leslie Daryl's wife has she basically takes care oh, she's of a game most of thing? the hotel oh, yeah, yeah. Dang. She takes care of most of the hotel stuff, which is a big piece of the, the puzzle. My wife Sarah has coordinated the majority of the volunteer stuff. Yeah. Uh, which is a big piece of the puzzle. She schedules, she sets all that up. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, it's having, I mean, having family members yeah. helps that you know and trust mm -hmm. that can get but stuff done. And it, you can also literally go in the next room and say, um, hey, where are we with this thing? Mm -hmm. But does it also, you know, does it also stress you guys out in other areas because now you can't take, like, I, I, I don't have to, to live it with you every day. It's like we talk, we talk, things come up, we talk, but they're, like, right there. So it's like you, you might have an immediate reaction to go to them or they might have an immediate uh, reaction to go to you. Yeah. Well, like so how does, I mean, how do you guys deal with that? Seriously. Uh, a, a lot of the times it's Leslie yelling at me. Like, did you get this done yet? <laughs> <laughs> we built a checklist, Daryl. There's a planning document. Where's the Brad, thing done? Brad, yeah. did you learn data march yet? Cause it was it, on right, the no, to-do list. It was, but I, no, <laughs> I'll teach I haven't. You. Yeah, no, I, easy. I, I know well, how to do it. Daniel Solis is I know how to do it. Ding. I did. I did. And I still botched it. So, <laughs> so, uh, so. I, I do want to do another. You mentioned Leslie, and I thought you were going to go to a different path. So, this year, I'm, I'm impressed that she put any of this stuff together. With every, uh, her mom's been in the hospital for a month, right? And like knocking on death's door multiple times during that, and she still got the mixture together. She still made sure everything was like T's were crossed, I's were dotted, like everything was where it needed to be with this hotel. I, st I, I see her every day. I still have no idea how she pulled that off. Yeah. No idea. So she had her students doing it for her. <laughs> yeah, basically, if Brad, Ben, or I go to do something and Sarah or Leslie go, nope, we just go, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. got it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> and Sarah walk away. <laughs> like, you got it. Yep. yep. Uh -huh. Correct. So, the, I mean, it's, I, it's very much a, a family run show at this point. And yeah. it is all in and it's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, outside of, I guess I, I would, do you, have, do you have something else to follow up on that convention question? Sure. I mean, the other question was, like, now that you're at this hotel and you like it, do you have any possibilities of expansion? Or size-wise, like, this is the limit? I mean, we tried the expansion geographically. So Midwest. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. we, we tried doing it on Pub Midwest. Um, and granted, yet we just gave it the one year. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, sometimes it's best to... You, you kind of feel it out a little bit, so... Um, pub's a big, it's a larger brand, so when you're doing a, a show that's dedicated to a certain part of the area, and you have a smaller turnout than you do when you're running it within another convention, it's kind of like, eh. and then furthermore, when you're like, you know what, let's give it another shot, and then the convention in the area goes, you know what, I'll give you this, and you don't have to pay a cent. And we're like, mm. okay, we're just going to do that now. Yeah, right. Mm. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, it is money. It's always money. It comes down to money. It sucks. It sounds mm. greedy, mm -hmm. but... And also time, because if you're basically yeah. putting on another unpub in yeah, another in another area where we don't live, where we don't live, right. where you know we're not we're not working with the people that are you know securing the hotel and doing these other things, uh, like there's all this marketing and stuff that we do um, that we would have to do double for two shows, and we j I mean we barely have enough time to put into this show having another completely separate, almost as big show is it's it was just overwhelming so mm -hmm. and like daryl said when there's another convention in the area that said yeah come on come on in and we'll take care of all this stuff for you it's like you know it's you know, no well, and, yeah. You know, yeah we'll give you the space we'll give you 40 tables in your room and we'll pay for your hotel and you just have to get here it's <laughs> yeah, like it's like uh, done uh, and yes yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right right uh so uh, we've been asked every year ad nauseum of when's on pub west you know when's this and that and it's 
it comes down to time and money. Like we, we barely have enough money to do this show. Right. And you need a whole separate team. We need a whole separate team. We need a whole separate financial strategy. Or people we would need time. We would need a whole separate volunteer team, or we would need dedicated paid employees yep. whose job is to just do that. Yep. Um, and we are not near that. Yeah. Right. You, no. right. No, we all have full-time jobs outside this. We all right. have families. We all have right. other responsibilities. So right. at the end of the day, this demands the attention of a full-time job, mm-hmm. but it can which never... Is, which is why we split it that. up we're, amongst six, seven yeah, people. Yeah. Which is why none of us are actively designing. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> right. I have uh, Daryl's still list. Yeah. Well, I'm helping Leslie design her first game. Right. But is she throwing that down again this... Weekend. Yeah, she she brought it with her. We we need to play through it because neither of us remember the rules. <laughs> yes, uh, I, I, I remember after we played it here last year, like three weeks later, Daryl calls me. He's like, hey, do you remember what we changed this to? Because neither one of us can find it in our notes. I'm like, that was three weeks and like 87 play tests ago for yeah. me. Well, we, we, we did some big overhauls uh, in early fall. Mm-hmm. And it played really well, but there was still some stuff. And we wrote down the notes, but now I'm like, what did I mean by that? And she's like, maybe it was this. I'm like, maybe? So it's just like we need to sit down and play through a couple turns yeah. and do all those maybes and go, oh, that's what it was. That feels right. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so uh, her, by the way, her game, crazy. I'm, I'm excited as hell for it because she came up with it last PAX Unplugged. Okay. Uh, her family's from Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. And so... Anytime we were walking to her from her hotel, it's always like this big history lesson. Of, mm-hmm. Oh, you know, this was here and this was here. Oh, that's cool. And I'm, I'm, I love history. Right, right, right. I'm not, that doesn't now like I'm placating her. Like, I'm like, oh, that's really cool. Yeah. Um, I, I, I love history as much as she does. And so she was going on about how the Philadelphia people did in the 1790s and, you know, pretty much wiped out like over half of Philadelphia. And they didn't know it was mosquitoes. And stuff. 60 years later, when a scientist thought it was mosquitoes, so he was breeding mosquitoes with yellow fever and got bit by one and then died from yellow fever. They said, hey! <laughs> uh, but so she said, no one's made a game about the yellow fever hitting Philadelphia. I'm going to do that. And I said, go for it. Like, I'd play that. It's dark as hell, but let's do it. <laughs> and so she started designing it, and then uh, I started oozing my way in a little bit. And uh, eventually it was, uh, she brought me in officially. To help her out, but it's her game, and I just give her ideas from time to time. So, but it's 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 really good. It's a co-op where you're actually playing as it's all historical based. So you're playing the actual people that, like the the members of the Free African Society that went around trying to mm. and treat people themselves. and and dying themselves. Yeah. And it's all about old old world medical where it's balancing the four humors, mm-hmm. not actual treating. So it's. Uh, it sounds like, oh, you're running around a city curing people. No, no, you're not. Because it's completely there was no... futile. It's, yeah. You're not actually doing anything. <laughs> it, it's, it's a downer from the beginning. Um, yeah. But um, So it's not like cubes on board. It's not pandemic or anything mm-hmm. like that. She's but there's no you're winning know. by eradicating the disease. Like where she, She's a teacher, so she wants it as historic, historically accurate as possible. And right? hysterically accurate. Yeah. <laughs> so the whole thing is public opinion. And being that you're starting uh, as a recently freed slave trying to help cure or treat rather uh, you know upper and upper middle and uh, lower class white people your public opinion goes up and down and so the whole thing is trying to end the game in a positive public opinion mm. and while fighting accusations of stealing and all this stuff that they all had to deal with even though they were doing everything to actually try to help everyone right so it's it's a fun family game <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so hysterically right. accurate yeah, it's hysterically yeah. accurate that guy died <laughs> <laughs> but there's but there's, that guy has a name but there's yeah. his name is robert paulson but that's, but robert that's the thing there's decisions in the game where it's like i can only get to one house and treat one house right and we can let we can let the poor kids die, well, and we're only going to lose two public opinion points. If we but if I go save the rich house, I'm going to go up six points. Right. Because, because, go, because the rich guy owns the newspaper. Correct. Right. Right. And correct. so they're going to print it, obviously. And right. so it's there's a lot of dark decisions like mm-hmm. that. And it's and every decision has a reaction with an event deck that goes on. Oh, and all this okay. Stuff. So, Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, it's, it's, and it's a co-op, so like we're all talking this out. Yeah. And there's she, gosh, she had a brilliant way of eliminating... Um, uh, you remember this, eliminating the, the, the armchair quarterback in it, mm-hmm. where at the end of every turn, something happens in the game, mm-hmm. 
and that's all shuffled up and dealt down blindly face down to all the players. So you don't know until the end of your turn what action has to take place. Mm -hmm. So there's no, oh, you should do this because this is going to happen. You have no idea what's going to happen in between because it's just going to be a random wow. effect order. Okay. Okay. It's brilliant. Yeah. It's really well done. So. That's excellent. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I love hysterically accurate games. Hysterically <laughs> accurate. Oh, God. Um, so uh, one thing I just want to touch on with you guys is, I mean, I, you, you thank a lot of the volunteers, and I know you do a lot of thank yous, um, but... Uh, you. is, is there anyone else you want to to thank involved? I mean, I know you have a bunch of sponsors, and I tried to yeah, yeah. no, have a to, but then nobody uh, was without so. it. Panda Game Manufacturing, Greater Than Games, Panda Source, Gerben Log, Kick Track, Plug Manager, Same Company, Kick Track, Panda 11, Pan Rider, Cardboard Addison, Dating Pool, Two Ton Porcupine, Porcupine. <laughs> <laughs> you always made it. it. Start over. Start over. Uh, Jealous Cat, Silver Clutch, Games and Stuff, The Games Keep, and Game Lab. There we go. Um, so and all of these you. guys. And you. Yeah, and you. And you. And you. And you. And you. Viewers like No, it's it's. <laughs> Unpub is a very thank you show. You hear thank you a lot. Like yeah. I hear it a lot, and it's. Don't thank me. Thank thank my team. Thank the team, mm -hmm. uh, and then thank yourself because if it's. We built it to where it, go thank yourself. <laughs> uh, I mean, we've built it truly as a, as a pyramid that at any point breaks, yeah. the whole thing crumbles. So, right. you know, we have to have the sponsors to pay the venue. We have to have the designers right. to fill the venue. We have to have the playtesters to come to play the designers' games. Which makes if the any one of those the three come, then the publishers come. Mm -hmm. Right, well, we just sponsor. Yeah, right. <laughs> but if, right. if any of those three are not present, if the designers aren't here, the playtesters have no reason to come. If the publishers are here, we don't have a place for the designers for playtesters. Mm -hmm. If the playtesters have gone, come, don't come, the designers aren't going to come back. Right. So it's that's the three. Like as long as we keep yeah. those three things solid, then everything is fine. Right. And we know that like the market goes up and down, and we know sponsorships come and go. Mm -hmm. um, but it's you know we're just you know, find ways to forge new ways to bring in cash flow okay. legally. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Legally, hysterically, <laughs> cannot stress legally. that enough. Right. <laughs> legally, excellent. Yeah. Um, no, I feel like Chris, we talked so much, and you guys you not asked, asked anything. When you asked me well, a couple no, weeks ago, no, no. you said you wanted to uh, go talk about Unpub with some Unpub staff instead of just like the round table that you've done at some other conventions that I take over on you. Um, <laughs> no, I just, which I, I appreciate. Basically, all I, all I'm doing in those shows is I'm 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 kind of I'm corralling people as they walk by. To talk for ten minutes and then because the voices in, in a roundtable thing, you know you can go for an hour and a half if you've got people constantly going. So, um, you know when you, you ask me about you know talking to the unpub staff, is this what you expect it to be? Or is there anything that, that's missing from that that you were hoping to get that might help your you know help you personally? This is pretty much what I was expecting, except for the live stream. Yeah, yeah. Surprise. So, I mean, surprise. you know, you, you expected to sit down and just us talk at you for a while. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, because, you know, because the last time, you know, it was, you know, the last time it was a, more of a, a, a closed show and not that big panel at a convention in the hall thing. Mm -hmm. We talked about how you were thinking about starting a publishing company, and you ended it with. So the moral of this this day is, don't start a publishing company <laughs> or decide what you really want. Now, is the moral today decide if you really want that or if you want other things. Or is there a different moral that you've learned in this So I, I have this pattern of continually doing new things in the board gaming space, regardless of the fact that I don't have any time. So I started designing. That's great. Like, oh, I should start a podcast. So I did. Oh, I should start a game contest. So I did. So why not a publishing company or a playtesting <laughs> convention? You know, and once I save up the money, I can buy a printer and become a manufacturer. I'm just gonna check all the boxes. Yeah, there you go. Are you also gonna get a get a big boat and bring all the games from China? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can put the printer on it. <laughs> but, oh my god. Uh, there you go. That, that is oh, brilliant. brilliant. <laughs> that is brilliant. Holy crap. Oh, that's it. Shipping it and printing yeah. all in one literal location. Cuts the time down. Anywhere you want well, it to be. Well then it wasn't manufactured in China, so because it was in international waters. Right. 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 Is there is there different uh, no tariffs yeah. or anything then? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You gotta worry about pirates, but we bring the printer. <laughs> to you, <laughs> unless you lived in a landlocked state. Yeah. Yeah, but what would the pirates do if they got on there and just like a bunch of it's board like, games? Would they be like, what's with all these board games? Do you have Monopoly? With these board games? Like Monopoly? The Russian oh, pirates. <laughs> what, what is with these board games? It's so Russian. Ooh, Operation. 
Yeah. <laughs> Why are you manufacturing we've all, we've all Oh, they're all bootleg. They're all like bootleg. They're all like bootleg Parker Brothers games. Uh, oh, were you going to a game convention? Yeah. What kind of convention? Oh, board games. Oh, like Monopoly? No. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Just, like, just yeah. like Monopoly. Yeah. No. You. You, got you it. tell somebody like I'm on a board for a unpublished. Uh, <laughs> a, a, a group, a group that helps unpublished design or uh, helps designers get their games in front of the public so they can get better. Um, they're like, oh, like so was it like ten people? And you're like, no, we have uh, over a hundred designers that will be there all weekend. We're expecting over a thousand people. Yeah. And they go, wait, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were in a side of another convention. We had fifty tables and hundreds and hundreds of people in the room was running all day and all night until midnight when they kicked us out of the building. Wait, wait, that's it. They're, they're what? No, really? Yeah. You think, well, we yes, have. You mean like that. Monopoly? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have. How many different versions of Monopoly? <laughs> did they have, did they have, uh, did they have like the Monopoly, Monopoly? for Philadelphia too? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta think, well, we have 84 tables. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, we have 84 tables, and each table has six chairs, and we have designers asking for extra chairs because they're, you know, oh, I want to play test a game that's eight to ten people. Mm-hmm. Fine, here's more chairs. Um, keep the aisle clear. Keep the fire marshal out. When you walk into that room, yeah, right. When you walk into the room, there's not a single empty chair. There's people standing around waiting for games to be done. Any game, mm-hmm. just to play a game. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's when you're like, oh, okay, cool, we did it. Mm-hmm. That's a good show. That's a good right. day. For sure. So, yeah, yeah. words. But you know, we're because you know all all we want to do there is is help them make their games suck less. Yeah, yeah. there you go. That's the dream. That is the dream. Have the dream. your game suck less. Yeah. Uh, Daryl, are you, are you like unclean? Unclean, you're starting out. To... Oh, he's, yeah. <laughs> I think that, yeah. yeah. And the past yeah. two and a half days, yeah. you're starting to take its toll. Yeah, <laughs> That's not a straw. Uh, I did it on purpose. So, I mean. Um, no, I mean, well, Brad started as coming to this as a designer. Yeah. And then somehow. I don't even know like, how the hell you ended up where you're at. I, because I started, when the decision was made to come to Baltimore, I started doing like street team That's right. uh, marketing stuff. That's right. Uh, and then uh, I I came to one of your, one of the board meetings because you just said, uh, I guess I like Brad, so let's get him involved <laughs> yes. more. I, oh, we, you and, and I then, had a long history of ribbing each other. Well, for sure. For whatever reason. Yeah, for whatever Usually reason. publicly. Because <laughs> that's, yeah, well, that's, that's generally what I do to people. Yeah. Um, nice head, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, then I, Daryl just kept giving me more stuff to do. He apparently didn't have that whole, like, oh, I guess... I guess I shouldn't give him more stuff to do because I don't know. But he's like, now, just Brad, Brad, you can yeah, take it's care over of now. This. Brad, you take care of this. Well, you so are the only other real graphic designer. Well, that's true. Yeah, thing, I can do so. some of those things. You're a uh, real graphic designer, Brad. I am. I'm a real boy. All the ban- <laughs> the Brad put the banners together. Brad built the name tags this year. Beautiful. Ooh, These are yeah. awesome. Also, mm-hmm. especially people who are dual. Oh, it's always been the double-sided no, because yeah, we yeah. hate when every people, convention yeah, when they flip double-sided oh, banners. I agree. Yeah, this this was the. As soon as we went vertical, that was the idea, and yeah. we've never strayed away from it. So, don't well, we learned that. that. We learned that. We did. Mm. Do you know what was the first game you played at your first unpub? Mm. Viva Java, which wasn't called Viva Java; it was called uh, Deva Java. I don't. Remember. Chris, do you, do you recall at all your first game you played at unpub? No, last that was a year ago. Do you remember the name? So, are we talking about, that's like... The, that's the, the chess, chess game. Or the, the, yeah, based Coronair. Based on the chess. Called, yeah. Coronair, yeah. 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 Oh, oh by the Brothers Craig. Uh, no. No, no. 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 Oh, no. Is that a Sawyer? Uh, what's his name? Yes, I think it's last... It's Sawyer. 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 Yeah. He just got picked up uh, yeah. this past year. Come on. I think the first Bruce. game... No, Bruce? Yeah. Bruce. Bruce Vogue, everybody. Ding, 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 ding. 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 Um, we're, we're talking about Unpub. And okay. just like, and you're a great supporter. <coughs> lean in, lean in. Absolutely. Lean in, lean in. The camera's close oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah, just. Hey! Hey! hey. hey. Get on the table, you what, sexy what's ass. It? He's still, he's still what's happening blocking out Ben. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, no, we're just talking about Unpub and yeah. you know, the experience. No, 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 just, yeah, Do you remember your first Unpub? Okay, so I was at the uh, last Unpub that no one cared about, which was Unpub yeah. 4. 
Don't uh, that'll work. Yeah. <laughs> did, you get, did you get your wait, Scrapple? Wait, wait. No, okay, so I wasn't there for Scrapple, and I, I want to say, and you'll correct me. Yeah, the I'm pizza wrong. party. That was the pizza party year. Yes, yeah. that was Grotto. Then, that was Grotto Pizza year. Okay, I wasn't that connected then. I was just like, oh, dude. <laughs> that had heard there was a thing. Yeah, it was it was designers and sponsors only. Yeah, and that's it was what like, you got to be people, and I was not people. I was just like a, a nerd with a dream, where I heard all the people that made all the games on you, Kickstarter. You didn't which, have the good hats and the good glasses. Right? No, no. Not at all. Yeah. And I remember, so somebody will help me here because you'll all remember. There was some food in that cafetorium, and I want to say it was like stuffed cabbage. Scrapple? No, 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 no. There was something in the cafetorium that was like really good <laughs> in this church cafetorium <laughs> where it was like, no, oh, he's man. About, oh, about the, yeah. well, yeah, yeah. Well, it was a Catholic school. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not yeah, wrong. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and it was like, homeboy, you you have to get the stuffed cabbage or you just don't even know what you're doing here. It wasn't even like games. It was like, you better get on that cabbage. And I remember going to get it and I was like, hey, I've heard Unpub, about you better get on that cabbage. You better get on that cabbage. <laughs> and I remember, because that, that, that's the thing, was that was like, and that, and I remember looking at every table and it was like, oh, that game you bought last year, oh, he's there. Oh, that game you bought last year, they're there. Oh, that game that just murdered Kickstarter, oh, over there. Oh, do you want to talk to blah de blah? They're there. It was like the first time where I felt like I like I knew the names of the people in the room, and I was like, "Oh, this is the first. Oh, oh shoot." You were not know where it happened. Shoot is fine. Okay, okay, you're good, you're good. But I remember saying like, "Oh my goodness!" Like everybody, this is where it happens. This is the next year of like Kickstarter games and games that are going to come out are all in this room, and I get to see it when they're crappy pieces of paper, <laughs> like crayon, or like, like at that point, no one had art. Everyone knew like one dude that was okay in MS Paint. <laughs> yeah. and it, and that, like, that is an important point. Because, like, the quality of prototypes has gone up like amazing. It's a new world now. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, now we just make it, like the game we're showing you now. No, we've already play tested it. It'll be out on Kickstarter next week. Uh, right. Yeah. No. No. I. I remember you because you had the the party game cast there. Yeah. Because so, okay. So yeah. So, okay. So at four, I was no one. At five, I was like, hey, at five, you were hey. emceeing stuff. Yeah, yeah. I was like, hey, guys, I kind of remember the last year I was at this thing. Is it cool? Because you're in Baltimore now. And you were like, all right, because that was the place you and J.R. Honeycutt and Daryl Andrews were the first three people to say to me, you mean something, you are important, you how, should be here. How can we abuse you? <laughs> By the way, how many dings was that? Was that, was that oh, God. Ding, 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 ding. Well, Daryl Andrews, because Daryl's an amazing name. Yes, he is. Uh, and he is the best baseball fan that I know outside of me that's named Daryl. Okay. And J.R. Honeycutt, half a ding? No, I'm oh. kidding. I love J.R. I love J.R. I love J.R. Oh. Oh. Sunday, Bruce and I will actually go to a game together. We absolutely We have to will. be in the same place at the same <laughs> time. That's not going to happen. <laughs> and then Daryl Andrews, uh, I just love him because he was in the MLB fan cave. Yes. Uh, representing I was some Toronto team no one cares about. <laughs> and then Blue Jays. <laughs> sure. Well, I guess it was, it was, it was, it was, it was I thought it was the Expos. I thought it was the Montreal. Montreal. That was Montreal. Oh no no no. no. I, but they're the, they're now the, the they're Washington the Nationals. Nationals. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um yeah he's the only other person that's yeah, breaks our bar. Which but it's complete sidetrack because you brought up baseball and then we brought up yeah. the Nationals. My yeah. biggest pet peeve about the Nationals is their logo is the Freaking Walgreens, Walgreens It's the Walgreens. Oh, it's like, come on, guys. Yeah, what's really did is nobody so... check. <laughs> nobody did a quick Google search. Uh, not at all, because they're still shocked. I remember I did a, a party for the Nationals at some point where I was there, and it was like an ice sculpture. So you didn't even have the circle around it that like sold it's you like, oh no, it's the Washington Nationals. This is real. It was just an ice sculpture of a W. And I remember walking in and going like, Oh, am I at the wrong party? The <laughs> yeah. And they were like, no, 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 Bruce, where you need to go is over there. I was like, but that's that's the Walgreens logo. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, that is the national. But it's logo. also, it like, yeah. they, they, oh, well, if they change the W to blue, fine, you're clear. But no, it's still it's red. red. It's still red. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Agreed. So, so you were at Unpub 5. Yeah, sorry. I was at Unpub 5. And I did and sound for Unpub You did your sound. System. You did yeah. your sound, yeah. I, yeah, I did do sound because and I remember we, didn't we have were karaoke. talking. And plus also, you gave me a far better rate than the convention center did. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, we're hiring you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I did it for like a hundred bucks and three board games. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and it, it wasn't even like... Funnily so, enough, the convention wouldn't take board games. As yeah, it's so weird. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, I remember that. And I remember, like I said, all of you were like... 
set up your stuff here. We want your show here. Come talk to everybody because you yeah, have the things I made people eat at that show. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> right. Nothing but what that's the food. right. We did what the foods because there was I forget oh my who God, I, forgot. I did it to, but it was like some sort of weird. Like you could only get it at like a Mercado Latino. It was and it was like dill pickle shrimp this, chips. There were shrimp. I think shrimp yeah, chips. shrimp chips was one of them. There were these dill pickle candies that you are <laughs> supposed to. I didn't know this because I don't read Spanish. Is you're supposed to shove them into a lemon and eat them from a lemon, and we just had people eating them. So it was just designers that were like, oh, cool, it's a way for me to tell people about my game. And they're like drooling green dill drools all over tables. Is, is, is the next time you do What the Food at Unpub, you're just going to have them drink Malort? Oh, I don't, I don't, maybe. I don't, I already don't know what that is, so that's it's a simple thing you got to get from Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, supposedly it tastes like rain dripping. Cr- Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Can't uh, finish that sentence. So, what keeps you coming back, Bruce? Yeah, because I mean, um, you're coming as an attendee now. Yeah, I am coming as an attendee. I just, uh, for me at this point, a, I get to try to help people with party games because, and we've talked about this because usually I come to the room and be like, "Don't even bother me with all the like game games." You don't want a so, game where you turn cubes into cubes. I don't want to turn cubes. cubes <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. In my in my life, I want to turn cubes into cubes. But where I feel like I really have a knowledge around here is I, I understand party games. Like, I can't. Why do you understand party games, Bruce? Because I have the party game cast featuring the party game cast, a <laughs> podcast about party games and games you take to parties. <laughs> you say the whole thing is like a tribe called Quest. <laughs> Who's that, bro? <laughs> I can do the whole thing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, with that, I feel like like there are folks here that I can help, and I like being able to do that. Like I, I get to kind of like you always want to do that where you feel like you're high and you're like I'm just here to give back. But really, like it's yeah. just how are you here tonight? Um, I don't know. Well, it's, if you can find Heather O'Neill, seems like you're winding yeah. down. No, no, no. Well, I'm working. Although I did want to look at the because I was waiting to look at the watch and be like one fifteen, and I'd be like. I'm going to go. <laughs> no, if, you can, if you see Heather O'Neill on the floor, yeah. ask her to play a Loha teriyaki. Yes. Now, is, that, is she going to slap me? No. <laughs> no she's going to say, she's already on the floor. And Ian Zang, Ian Zang may be, somebody give me that name. Okay. Zang. Uh, no, Ian Zang may be very happy. Again, family. We're being family. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. No, no, no. Happy. Oh, that he will play. <laughs> so it's 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 a game where you are oh essentially like oh, you're like alien archaeologists <laughs> checking out Earth thirty thousand years from now, and you're running a symposium about all the stuff you found. Like we are explaining hieroglyphics today, okay. and so the words might be like like it's m- match up yeah. multiple cards and yeah. explain them. And you're the expert on sports. I'm an expert on language. This person's an expert on religion. Okay. And so welcome to my TED talk. And then you <laughs> like oh. What is? Can you tell us about the research you've done on, like, uh, you know, the phrase "100% gorilla"? So, so it's like the or, strangest pitch game. Yes, it is. But okay. then, but then I'm gonna say, sir, sir, you are wrong. That was a mistranslation. Oh, wow. As the language expert, and go okay. from there. Okay. And he's he got to the point where he was just things that you no. Is that a recent other one? But so, so go, yeah, that yeah. is a party game that you should go if you get a chance. Sure. Okay. But so, again. I've so, also heard about Shaper. Yes. That's the other one I keep hearing about. Oh, yeah. Not to, 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 to like cut you off, but no. what was the, like you know, places, you, you so. like to come here and No, I love to come here and check out party games and help people however I can. Plus, like, Bruce came What's up? What'd you say? We were just looking at the chat. The chat, like, no one's really talking, but we had a random LOL eight minutes ago. So I keep looking over, like, uh, my God, my mouth has put everyone to sleep. <laughs> and then he shows and up and there's a Bruce is on the table. <laughs> <laughs> like there's the single the, the earth is gone and finally we get one single radio sound <laughs> back. <gasps> And thank it's you, person, Bruce for typing the room. three letters. For me. <laughs> I can't thank you enough. Yeah, there it is. Hey, before that, it was I dare one of you to shave your head. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, come on, internet, be better. Be better. Did, did you want to do so you're closing for that, and then I could close out the stream? Sure. Oh wow, yeah. I guess First, that's uh, the show. Judges are helping people out. I'm looking for judges for my contest. It's oh, all okay. Online. Super easy. Okay. Are you, are you gonna do it? Sure. Oh, you got it on tape. There's over yeah, a hundred. Yeah, there's, <laughs> there's over a hundred judges. There's so many judges. Now. I'm not special a little bit. <laughs> but you are there's because you're a hundred judges. You have, a, you have an expertise self-proclaimed. That's true. Party That's true. I do believe I under. I can't make one to save my life. You also have a different experience to come from because. Or after, or after the 21st. Really. Yeah. What is your day job? So many, well, <laughs> no. you mean my particular day job right now, yes. which is that I do things for North Star Games. Uh-huh. I do social media and content and influencer relations and like 
if you have a real, really, like a real crazy idea, you come to me and if I say your idea is still not really gonna work, then you don't have the idea anymore. But if I'm like, yeah, yeah, no, totally, I think we can do it, then you can yeah. say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> if I get real behind it. Yeah. I know, I know, unbelievable, isn't it? I like it's it. Thing, yeah, but that's, yeah. that's part of it. It's not a big part of it, but it's the part I enjoy the most. <laughs> the people are like, hey, Bruce, I want to do this thing where we make a giant plastic dinosaur. And we just bring that around. And you're like, awesome, right, let's do yeah. it. It's going to giant plastic dinosaur. Yeah. Sorry, I realize that you're no, trying to close. No, no, and I just no, keep, no, keep, no, keep no, talking. I'm sorry. I'm no, so no, sorry. I don't have a time limit on mine. So, They've been dealing yeah. with that for the last three hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what I signed up, up for. Here. <laughs> nice. Um, and uh, so, Chris, uh, can you announce the dates for, for Luke Yukon? Not yet. <laughs> is this still going to happen? No. I don't know. Maybe he board game he, workshop gone. His, his goal was to find out how to run a convention because he's yeah. considering running one. Nice. So so I'm asking, we have the, the blue future. color. We have the blue color cornered in the board game industry. But his will be a. I'm his pretty pretty sure Unclub doesn't have the word blue in it at all. Blue doll. Oh. Mm. It's not. I don't see anything blue on that. That's our. Me- oh, well, we changed it for nine to make yeah. it stand out because yeah. we're going to go super awesome, classy with ten. Is Ten gonna have two yeah. noodles? Yeah. Neon. Yeah. Neon. Oh, you don't cross the blue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you can't do that with Bloodle. Oh, well, Why didn't we bring Bloodle into this? <laughs> I don't know. The Bloodle. We I can go down the hole and get him. Our mascot is a. Is you a, ain't coming back if you. Leave. I'm not getting up again. Yeah. Our, our mascot is a blue pool noodle. Uh, right. Which you didn't tell the story I, about that. I'm a, I didn't at all. Is Bloodle just sitting at the desk? He's no, he's in, in the room. room. He's, 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 he's having his uh, alone time. Right okay. <laughs> um, he's had a long. But uh, so <laughs> yeah, so John Moeller, he, we used to do uh, Origins Gorilla style because they never wanted us. One hundred percent. And so yes, one hundred percent. We can't put a banner up without you know paying and all that. So we, he tried to find ways to circumvent it. And so it was, I have a blue pool noodle. I'm going to put it on a mic stand on top of a table. It's not a banner. It's not okay. a sign. There's no words on it at all. And that's where on pub is. Everyone gather around the blue pool noodle, and so it was the blue pool noodle was the mascot for a while. And then I did bottom of the ninth, and so the year that bottom of the ninth came out, we were doing promo cards, mm-hmm. and so I said, well, I got to do one for unpub. Let's do the pool noodle as one, and I'm and I'm like, well, I can't call it pool noodle, <laughs> um, and I can't, I don't want to call it noodle, and I don't want to call it pooly or something, and so I was sitting thinking, and I went. Noodle. And I'll do the two dots over the U. So yeah. he's Swedish. Yeah. Uh, and so it's Bloodle the Noodle. And so Bloodle is, you'll, we had one that we got, like, we, uh, a friend of mine does stuffed animals, like mm-hmm. professional stuffed animals. Mm-hmm. And so I asked her to make a, a Bloodle stuffed animal. So we have one, it's about two feet tall. He's got a magnetic face, we can change his expressions out all the time. He's got bendy arms. And that's it. So it's Bloodle. So Bloodle's everywhere there's an official unbub presence. He travels the world. Bloodle's there. That's so that's the blue pool noodle. I do love the world where the card may have just been blue noodle. <laughs> so like he's, you know, now batting. Mm. The center field. Blue. Blue. Noodle. noodle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you're away, then it's just blue noodle. <laughs> <laughs> well, now batting. Number blue three, blue so, noodle. So we had blue noodle, and then there was a joke that his arch nemesis is Grudel. And we were so St. Patrick's Day. So the one year we had St. Patrick's Day, so we actually introduced Grudel into everything. Mm-hmm. And so now the feedback station polls, uh, which Brad and I built all the aisle sign polls out of PVC. That was a fun day. Yeah. Um, they're wrapped in the Grudel noodles because <laughs> we've delegated him to just being in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's the unpub extended universe. See, there, there you go. go. There yeah. you go. Ten Some years from now, they'll, they'll have a team up. When we yeah. gather all six pool noodles, <laughs> <laughs> I will snap and everyone like, will be published. Yeah, it's, like Noodle, Captain, Grudel, it's like Captain got... Planet. <laughs> oh my god. Do you guys have anything else you want to add? I'm so sorry. Oh, no, I, mean, no, I no, really don't like you guys not talked about all of either of your shows. Well, well, well that's, that's, that's what we do. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. that's exactly okay. what we do. We do interview shows and, and it would If I wanted to talk, I'd go on someone else's show. Exactly. Right. Well, well you are on someone else's show. No, no, sort of <laughs> but you did your plug already, so I mean, no, I didn't mind. So. You guys should interview each other. Yeah. <laughs> just you guys just, just stand just around. Just like right now. now. <laughs> just yeah. Yeah. So how's it feel? So, so so do you envy the people who do video? Do you wish you did audio? Do you guys have any envy or? Uh, so professionally, is, is I like, do is video. It's like a Jets and Sharks. So thing I know how terrible it is. And no, I don't want to do video. <laughs> yeah. So wait, whose video setup is this? This is this is Happy Fun Time, my Yours. Happy Fun Time Live. Yeah. And then so that's your audio. That's that's well, his audio. Well, right? one that's his audio. Right? The, the video also has audio. That's why it's harder. Right. 
Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. And the editor. Oh, just do worse. video, no audio. That would be so <laughs> confusing. <laughs> Silent <laughs> interviews, everyone, but close caption it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Silent film fan. did okay for quite a few years. <laughs> 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 it's it's right. possible. There's yeah. nothing We're on the table this whole time. <laughs> yeah. And it takes up a third of the. So what I expect when I see the replay of this is that the subtitles is on this. It probably actually will. We'll see. The Chiron. And, and this is actually this is uh, the first year I, I, I actually got restreamed. So this is going out to two Twitch channels, YouTube Live, Facebook Live, uh, Periscope, and I think that's it. Also, and the best we're getting, that all, and the best we're getting <laughs> is shave your head and LOL. Well, yeah, but come on now. I mean, it's been a long day. It's late on Saturday. <laughs> wow. It's yeah. eleven thirty on a Saturday night. And and the reality too is uh, most of what I'm doing here goes to VOD. Automatically now, so I don't have to worry. Video on demand. Right. So, oh, okay. so as opposed to just a dude named Bod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just Who's like this Bod? Yeah, yeah. I like your Bod. Bod of the <laughs> Oh, LOL was not laugh out loud. It's his last name. It's Bod Law. He's just signing in. <laughs> I've been waiting for this all night. Oh, uh, this is Vodlal. Vodlal loves this. I want to oh, communicate Vodlal. with my brother Bruno. <laughs> I haven't seen him in years. It's been nine long years. So, 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 Vodlal is the uh, the violent one, right? <laughs> yeah. Vodlal. Yeah. He's in the. I, I I thought it was surprising that he showed up in the new Captain Marvel movie. He's got Marvel and Vodlal. <laughs> this is what I do. Then he talks, I just make snappy comments. Oh, you make people pass out. Your yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I almost killed it. Uh, Eric, Eric Handler. Handler. Ding. <laughs> that was a fun podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's not go into no, that. No, no. We, we need to cut right. this. All right. Go yeah, we, we have to get up early and get bed tomorrow and break down the show yeah. tomorrow night. Yeah. So yeah. wrap this stuff Let's up. Let's close it. So. Thank you all for being on the show. Thank you for having me on your show. Yeah. Let's start with where people can get you online if they want to. Where you can get at will at Happy Fun Time Live or Geekspiel. There you go. There you go. Hey, you can find me, Daryl, for those that are listening, and Daryl for those that are looking. Uh, I'm on Let's Twitter at Get Louder. <laughs> and uh, uh, Get Louder. Get Louder. Get Louder. Get Louder. I'm, I'm Brad Smoley, <laughs> at Brad Smoley on Twitter. I also, if... You see a tweet from at uh, the Unpub. It's probably me, or maybe sometimes Daryl. Sometimes, uh, uh, usually you. Ben. I DM. Yeah. I DM. Yeah. I try, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Also Ben. Uh, but yeah, at the Unpub and uh, at Brad Smoley. Mm-hmm. Chris, you can get me on Twitter at Luke UBGS. Uh, Will Esgro. Uh, pretty pretty much Twitch either at Happy Fun Time Live or at Geeks uh, Geeks Spiel, and then. Uh, uh, SmutchyGames.com. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, at <laughs> Special Party guest. Game, at uh, Party Gamecast. Hi, I'm Bruce. Uh, hi, Bruce. You can find me at Party Gamecast uh, if you like party games. You can find me at Bruce Go Thinks if you like professional wrestling, because that's about all I talk about there, professional wrestling and drag queens. That's right, brother. Uh, you, can, you can also, if you just like the sound of my voice, uh, I'm on on board games. That's a podcast. I'm sometimes no, on there. Brett, Bruce, you are on the on board. I'm games, on. You're right. right. I am on the on board games and the party game cast featuring the party game cast, a podcast about party games and games <laughs> to take to parties. And if we see you at a convention, you are at uh, just wherever I'm standing. Just yeah. <laughs> but yes, I'm also uh, social media for at North Star Games. Anywhere that North Star Games would be found, I'm I'm probably the dude. Oh, hey, perfect. I'm still Ben Beagle. I am uh, on Twitter at some fat kid. That's S U M fat kid. Uh, you can find me at one eight hundred Ben. You can also find me in your dreams. <laughs> oh jeez! You can also just whisper into a phone book and I'll respond. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 Ben, what's going on? <laughs> Uh, and thank you to the audience that did stick around tonight uh, and popped in. Uh, for everybody watching the VODs, thank you guys for watching. And uh, we will see you at next year's Unpub. Yes, we will. I'm going to hold you to that. I will be here. I will be here. Oh, oh part of the exes. Yeah. Put up. Yeah. Not this way. <laughs> not this way. <laughs> 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 I don't have enough room to get a good This is, what, this is, this is one <laughs> thing in wrestling. This, this is a different thing in wrestling. That means somebody hurt, hurt real bad. <laughs> totally That's different right. thing. Okay. Unpub yeah, 10, unpub after dark. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Really yeah, thank you. Thanks.